No, 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 no! I don't know why, man. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Oh, God. What the hell, dude? All right. So I have a feeling that shit's about to go really south today. <laughs> I'm not quite ready for it. Hi, everybody. I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Friday. Um, 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 I'm a little bit nervous about my internet. So, uh, if anything lags at all today, I apologize in advance. We had a very, very big thunderstorm last night. And my internet was off for like an hour in the middle of the night. Uh, so, oh God, no, not again. We listened to Shadow World enough. So like, I hope it, it's been a bit bumpy. So I hope everything is gonna be okay with the stream. <laughs> just like a forewarning. <laughs> everything seems okay right now. I just hope it stays stable. Ready for the feels? I'm ready for the feels, man. I'm about ready. I think so. By the way, um, you guys are really hype. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> Chat, you're hype as fuck. Um, hold on. I got a lot of thank yous to put out. Um, Meow, thank you for the raid. Pricey, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I really appreciate it. Dude, you just got here. You're subbing and then gifting subs. That's awesome. Thank you. 
<laughs> um, uh, you know what? Fuck. Uh, it's gonna do that. That'll make it easier for me to read. Um, oh yeah, Pricey, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Rizzo, thank you for the three months. Emerald for the 25 bits. And Pricey, again, thank you so, so much for gifting out two subs to the community. I really appreciate it. Holy poop, I'm so excited slash nervous about today. <laughs> You finally caught a stream. Welcome, everybody who's able to catch a stream from the YouTube videos. By the way, there is a YouTube video coming out in 20 minutes. <laughs> um, okay, so I did a lot of side questing off stream. I did, I think I did all of my side quests that I needed to acquire in the TV. Um, there's one thing that I wanted to do on stream and that was Margaret's final... Wait, did I actually even do that? Wait, did I? Yeah, I think I did. The Trumpeteer. Margaret's final rank. I didn't actually turn it in yet, so I'm gonna do that. I didn't do anything off stream other than like go back into the the previous dungeons and I uh, I just got all my side quest items, which is pretty boring to watch, so I decided to just get all that shit. Alright, so Margaret should Welcome be yelling at me. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Margaret, hi. Congratulations, you've been through many challenges and I hope you grasp their meaning. You see, the results never mattered. I wanted to see you yourself struggle and complete the requests. Ah, oh, why do I feel like Margaret's like a masochist, man? You approached each challenge thoughtfully and in doing so, you trained your soul. As I predicted, you have shown me that your soul is strong. Uh, it's been wonderful. For the first time in ages, I became very excited. Sadist Margaret. <laughs> but remember, one soul is fragile. The purer it is, the stronger it gets, but it can easily be led astray. It can take so little as a handful of senseless words, such as a lie or a rumor. Razzlin, thank you so much for gifting two subs. You guys are hype as fuck. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate all the support, everybody. Thank you so much. Please remember that. Now I have, uh, I have to give you something as a reward. Here, I want you to have this. A spiral brooch? It's only an object, but at the same time, it's an expression of myself. I'm sure you'd know since you'd struggled so much for me, right? <laughs> Margaret! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Margaret! I don't know how to feel about her. <laughs> oh. All right, she's officially maxed out though. Oh boy. There's nothing more of your heart that I need to see. I understand you quite well now. Hmm, <laughs> you sure? Thank you, as I thought you're the person I had been waiting for. When the time comes, it is you who will provide my answer. I look forward to it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna leave now. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know how long we have to spend until like shit happens with the plot, but I, I imagine that we have a couple, maybe like a week or two to spend. No, <laughs> nobody's home. Ah, uh, why can't I like sleep at the hospital? I'd rather do that than like fucking be home alone. Dang it. No, I'm not cheating on Chie! No! I'm not gonna cheat on Chie with Naoto! Rise texted me, Senpai, I heard you like movies, right? You want, I wanna see Roman Paid Holiday. It just came out. I love the original, so I was really looking forward to this remake. Holy fuck! Now, I've seen bad text messaging before, but this is probably the worst text messaging I've ever seen. <laughs> Aw, Chad, thank you for the welcome home, big bro. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm inviting you to invite me on a date to see it. So ask me out. Oh God. <laughs> um, no, that's okay, Rise. Thanks. We'll uh, probably never go to the movies together. Whoa, holy shit. Welcome home, big bro Chris to cry. Ah, thank you so much for the 3000 bits, Sophronia. You guys are nutty with the support. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> that's a lot of biddies. Thank you. Uh, I guess I have to go to sleep, huh? Okay. 
You had a dream that you and Naoki were wearing luchador masks and wrestling? What? <laughs> what? Excuse me? <laughs> oh, okay. Luchador masks, right. Right, right. I have a lot of quests to turn in, I just don't know which ones. Oh! That's the kid I need to go on the roof for! Ooh. We've all had dreams like that before, right? I I've had... Uh, have I had dreams like that before? No. Not with Luchador. Mess. I have to remember... Okay, so Yosuke isn't ready. See? I have to remember everybody's statuses of, like, who's gonna rank up and who's not. Uh. Okay, Daisuke's not, Yosuke's not... I do like Yukiko, but Chie's best girl- OH FUNKY BOY! Oh, Funky boy returns, I see! Oh boy. That's pretty pog! Oh, I have to be a cleaning person for this guy. I have to figure out that quest. Do you know of a writer who once said, life is like a box of matches? You know those words. You were rewarded with the principal special lecture. Oh, wow. Oh, I guess I got stat for that. That's pretty cool. teachers it looks like it could be used to tell fortunes i gave her a crystal ball here's a token of my thanks Thirty-five thousand yen why is a teacher giving me 350 dollars that's a teacher giving her student 350 dollars what <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts! Yo, Chili Lee, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it, dude. All right, funky boy. I think she just literally gave me her entire paycheck. <laughs> what? Okay, I got some good riddles for you. All right, funky student, it's time. I didn't want to face my riddle brother like that, but I can't lie to you. I guess it's employment for me, but I can't imagine sacrificing this afro just for interviews. <laughs> Years of caring grooming versus less gainful employment. It's a tough choice, but right now it's riddle time. Is that a challenge? It's time for another logical throwdown. Once again, this the category is categories. Our old friends group A and B are back in effect. F's in group A, G's in group B. Okay. N is in group A, O is in group B. Which group does P have detailed onto the side of his ride? Hold on, I think I know where that's going. Not romancing funky students, wiggity whack, yo. Dude, I wish I could romance funky student. Thank you for the 100 bits, evil. Um. Okay, hold on. I have to count on my fingers for this one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Wait, hold on. No, it's I can't go that direction. Give me a second, I, I'm trying to think of this from, like, all angles here. Wait, maybe I need to write it down. No, I don't. No, I'm gonna stare at my keyboard. I'm gonna look at the letters on my keyboard for a sec. Maybe, uh... You know what? I'm thinking that... P goes in group... Oh man, that wouldn't make sense either. Wait. I'm thinking that... 
I'm gonna say it goes in group B. No. I'm gonna stick with my gut. My gut originally told me A. Oh yeah, then what do the letters in that group have in common, son? Oh, wait! Oh! Um, um, um... I was going with the way they were drawn. Wait, that's not right then. Wait, hold on. Consonants, maybe? They're not symmetrical, nothing symmetrical. Okay, I'm gonna say consonants. Wait. Because group B had G and O. Wait. Whoa, you blew the layup. Don't tell me you're going out like that. Maybe you need to stretch your mind a bit. Fuck! I will wait here until you feel like you're capable of taking it to the requisite level. Fuck. All right, I think it's the way they're drawn. The way they're drawn, and it would be group B then. Fuck. I'm trying to be big brain, and Funky Boy just shoots me down, man. Oh, Chie is waiting for me. The female student is mumbling and obviously flustered. Oh, she's the fox request person. What do you want? Stop staring at my face. Oh, oh, I can deal with her because I'm understanding. I'm such a good person, man. Normal people would have left by now yelling something at me. You're weird. What are you standing there for? Say something to me. You got that? Okay. I have to talk to her again. Okay. Oh wait, we're maxed with Chie. No, sorry. See you Bye, girlfriend! <laughs> Wasn't there one of your classmates who was interested in this girl? What's the matter? Ask about her hobbies. Playing with animals, I guess. Oh, okay, gotta come back another day for her. Sorry, Chie. Dude, I feel like Chie is gonna hate me one of these days. She's just gonna break up with me because I'm such a fucking bad boyfriend. Nato! I can finally complete my art piece. I got physical mirror. Wow, thanks, Pog. All right, chat. You know what? I've been ignoring the fuck out of Rise. I should probably hang out with Rise. Oh. Chris is not. And Kanji too. Oh. Uh, thank you so much, Cult. The different for the two months. I appreciate it. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. All right, um, let's go to the second floor. I don't know if I have any quests on the second floor or not. Yeah, that's the resub alert. Is a catchy shooting with his little water gun. Pew, pew, pew. It's cute. Two neatly wrapped snuff soles. Now this girl knows how to give a fucking gift. Hell yeah. Get what? My dad's been pretty down ever since he shut down his plastic model shop. I was wondering what I could do, and then I thought maybe I could round up all the regular kids who used to go there. But they said they wouldn't come to see him unless I gave them badges. I was going to give them the ones from uh, Shiraku's, but they don't look, uh, they don't like those. I don't know where else to look. The kids say they want proof of passion. There are three kids in all, so I guess I'll need three badges. I'm so sorry, but I'll leave it to you. Okay. Don't really know what that is, but okay. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, I had the thing. Okay, I don't know what I just did. <laughs> that worked out! Okay. All right, so uh, time to hang out with uh, Rise, I think. Either Rise or Kanji. I guess I already had them, that's nice. Surprise!
Where do they get those those dungeon items? Bro, I don't know. I just I did a lot of farming in the dungeon, so I have a lot of shit now for quests, I guess. I want to see Nanako-chan. I want to see her face. Oh, I'm sorry. I know this must be painful for you than more painful for you than me. Um, is there something I could do for you? Oh, I know. Let's go out. How does that sound? Uh, yo, Jack, thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it. We're gonna spend the afternoon with uh -huh. Rise. Fine. <laughs> I'm facing the wrong way. No, that's just how Chad Narakami works, isn't it? <laughs> the flavor was a little strong, but it was good. My grandma's food is kind of bland, though tofu is good for you, so... Whoa! There's a suspicious man in front of Risei's house. Oh! Do -do 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 -do. Just kidding. <laughs> is that a reporter or a stalker? Risei's worried. Um... Grab her hand and run! That's all right. We don't know if he's really dangerous or not. Let's just wait and see, okay? But thanks for that. <laughs> but still, that guy. Where have I... No way! Inui-san, is that you? Risei-chan. Why are you here? I already settled everything with the agency. I'm here because, personally, I can't accept that. I've watched over you this entire time as your manager. I'm no longer a personality. My private time doesn't belong to a manager anymore. Go home. If you don't, I'll call the police. Could you think? Ju could you just think it over? I strongly believe that no other actress can play that role better than Risei Kujikawa. Your fans were looking forward to the movie too. You still want me to act? Huh? Anyway, I'm through with it. I have nothing to nothing to do with showbiz and all that stuff now. I. I've decided to marry this man once we graduate high school. What? Uh, no! <laughs> I said before it was only a hiatus, but I've changed my mind. There's no way I'm coming back. You see the real me. He's so gentle. Risei is desperate. I have to go along with it. See? I told you! I understand. I'll go home for today. But I... Go away! Now! Um... Awkward... <laughs> That was Inui-san. He was my manager. I'm his daughter's age, so he treated me like one of his family. One of the family. But he's a stranger now. Senpai, um... I'm sorry, I'm, Senpai. I'm sorry lying about marrying you and all. It was a lie?! I don't mind. Senpai. You're so mature. You really are a nice guy. This this isn't good. I feel like I'm gonna going to depend on you even more. Oh god, the blushing. <laughs> Just kidding. Holy shit, sorry. That's my alarm. Oh boy. Why you gotta cheat? Wait, me? I'm not cheating! I would never cheat on my girlfriend, Maine! I- I don't cheat on Chie, not even for Naoto, and that's saying something if I'm not even cheating for Naoto. But I already agreed that I'm going to be doing, um... I gotta say, I- Hold on. I'm trying to comment on my video. Uh, I will do a New Game Plus to date Naoto, since I was unaware. But this run, you know, I just- I gotta respect, you know? I gotta respect. Alright, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Respecting my girlfriend. Third eye? What? What? I wish I could spend more time with you, but I'll save it for next time. See you later. What? 
insane. That's actually insane. What the fuck? Holy shit, dude. That's fucking nutty. Oh, the music is like all sad. Welcome home, big bro. Thanks, chat. You're the best. My fridge is also like, you know, Nanako hasn't filled the fridge with food. So like, what do I do? Shit's sad, man. Hopefully she wakes up in the hospital soon. I don't want to be home alone anymore, you know? Oh, this girl's back! My children at home are hungry. I cannot go home without something to feed them. Do I have a Genji? I No, I don't. I don't fish in this game. <laughs> you see, little ghosty. Oh! Hi, I've never seen you here before. Surprise! I do eventually want to fish, yeah. If I have a spare day or something, I'll fish. <gasps> Not so perfect! Senpai. Literally perfect. Hi! Yes. Excuse me. You live with Dojima-san, correct? He's an interesting man, but my first impression of him was your typical hard-boiled detective. But when the police officials and I were in disagreement about their methods, he was the only one to put a word in for me. In the end, my advice was still ignored, but I won't forget that he tried. All of these are really good answers. Oh, I like all of them. He cares about the truth. Yes. He's a rarity amongst the police. There was no incentive for him to help me either. I believe he's making a serious effort to solve this case. His determination was easy to see. You and he are indeed quite similar. The Shiragane family has close ties to the police, but that relationship is sometimes overshadowed by conflicting interests. That's why it's helpful to have detectives like Dojima-san around. Then again, in his case... Aww, that was so cute. Oh. oh. I should be getting back. I didn't mean to keep you here for so long. I have a gift for you. You should have it if you're ever feeling hungry. Please accept it. Whoa! Nato's always giving me the good stuff. Good Yo, Erilyn, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I hope you like the emotes. Sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. <laughs> All right, it's Sunday, which means I have no other choice but to do one thing. Besides buy shit from, you know, Tanaka. Oh, I should buy the nice shoes for Chie. Oh, um, yeah, let's buy my girlfriend a gift. Yo, I'm a good boyfriend. Buy my girl a gift. I'm buying her nice shoes. Yeah, chat, you can't say I'm a bad boyfriend anymore, all right? I care about my girl. All right, all right, all right. Just want to make sure that's clear. <laughs> this is my redemption arc. <laughs> Uh, it's true though. You're a sugar daddy. What? No, I'm not. It 
doesn't really go out and it doesn't run on electricity. Listen to me, I'm going on about it like it's some kind of amazing contraption, but whatever you may think, it's pretty amazing to me. Here you go, this is a token of my gratitude. People are giving me so much money! That was $300! I don't understand! I can't imagine just giving somebody $300! Like some random stranger on the street. I just gave him a lamp. That's all I did. Four thousand yen. Okay, that's like a you know four thousand yen's pretty good. Not bad. Dang, that is so much money. Alrighty, did I ever get your thing? Oh, I did. Oh, you have another quest. No. I don't want to bother you, uh, to be bothering you, but there's something I want to ask you. Are you free? We're moving soon, so I made up my mind. I'm gonna stop being exactly like my sister. I think changing my appearance would be a good first step, so I want to wear a headband. A cute one would be best. So can you find me a branch headband for me? If it's something that you find, you'll be some, uh, it'll be something that no one else has, right? Do you think you could find one for me? Yeah. Usually gorgeous women that live in hideouts wear them. What? Oh, okay. All right, Granny. I wonder where my husband's letters are. Whatever happened to them? When he died, I cleaned out the storehouse. So did I sell them along with everything else? I have to find letters? Oh, shit. I, 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 fuck. Wait, um... Oh shit, um... Oh no, Granny! Um, where do you live? Chris the Pogmon are playing after Persona 4. Ah! Yo, D D Alexi, thank you so much for the two months, I appreciate it. No, I don't! I wanna go with Nato. Next playthrough, next playthrough, next playthrough, next playthrough, next playthrough, next playthrough. Not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one. No, 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 no. Oh, I need to give you hard boots. I think I can get that now. I have to find Granny's letters. How do you do that? I gotta find it, me. I think I have enough now. Do I? Wait. I just need to buy hard boots, right? Is it an accessory? Mm. Oh, it might be like a wep- wait. Heavy heels, cowboy- oh, hard boots! I do have them. Yeah, I gotta find Granny's missing letters, man. It's Sunday. I have to hang out with Granny. I got a guide to pests. And 5,000 yen. Dang, not bad. You're pretty passionate, aren't you? Well, listen to this. I have a younger sister, and she's kind of a klutz. It's nice that she tries to help around the house, but she always ends up breaking the dishes. Uh, could I... I have a favor to ask of you. Could I ask you to get three fashionable dishes for me? I'd like some spares, since she could uh, destroy a couple of them. Okay. You have them. Oh, I do. Yeah, I do. I have them. Whoa! 10,000 yen! Oh, he has another quest! Oh god, this is this is like the guy that keeps on giving. You're starting to have the look of a real intellectual. That's great. Say, do you like do you have a moment? I've gone and bought myself a huge bookcase. Now I can treasure my books on display after I've read them. I'm gonna stop giving you pieces from my collection, sorry. Well, I'll give you one more. Wait, what? But this is the last time. Will you hear me out? Okay. 
This isn't a really a request. Think of it as a game. I want to see if you remember what my books have taught you. Uh. Oh. You'll have to answer four questions in a row. Great. Question one, what fact isn't told in the gentle way? Judo trivia. What a shame. What? <laughs> Have you heard about that new book that comes out? The last bullet t-shirt was so good too. <laughs> Just when I thought it was getting good, it ended. I'll live and die a bookworm. I'm gonna wait patiently for a new book to grab my heart and mind. Oh my god. So what other books can I buy now? These are the new ones? Finish reading to be able to catch more bugs. Hell yeah! Okay. All right, so we gotta find Granny's letters. I don't know how to do that, but I, I figure if you talk to enough people, eventually, I'll find Granny's letters. Imagine reading. Uh, yeah, it died to what? What's reading? <laughs> oh, this dog. Wait, is this the dog that I need understanding for? I need understanding for this fucking dog! That is so dumb! Ugh. I've never seen such quality cool before. Just holding it makes me feel warmer. Thanks, youngin. Now I built now I can build the best sauna the world's ever seen. You're welcome. Everybody in this game is giving me so much money. Like, I don't understand. 40,000 yen. This might not be enough, but it's all an old man like me can give you. 40,000 yen is not enough? Dude, that is so much money! What the fuck? Understand. Four hundred dollars for coal. <laughs> like, what the hell, bro? I'm just trying to figure out how I can help Granny out. I don't know if I can. There's like, I don't know where to go, man. I'm gonna go catch some bugs. Dude could've just bought coal for like 3k yet. I don't understand. I don't get it either. I got some bugs, yay. I still don't know why I did that. But okay. All right. I, I genuinely don't know what to do. I wanted to hang out with Granny, but like, I gotta figure out what's the deal with these fucking letters. Give me a steak skewer. We did get bugs. I'm gonna go talk to some, like, uh... Some shop owners here. See if anybody got information. What do I do with Granny, man? Your face is dreadfully pale. Is Nanako-chan not well? I'm sure you must have some reason for being worried, but your body is a temple. Please take good care of it. Aw, that was wholesome. 
Yeah, I'm trying to talk to everybody right now. I think I have talked to everybody. Or at least I've talked to everybody here. Um, school's not open today. Let's check Okina City, I guess. But like, I, I don't. It wouldn't make sense for the letters to be in Okina City, though. I'll check though. We had a family meeting the other day. I decided to give it another go. I'm trying going to think. Uh, yeah, you're not giving me any information. Hey, do I have a quest for you? Wait, what? I'm looking for an invincible skirt. I think they're made from some castle rocks from some lab. Wait, what? Did I? I could have sworn I got that. Okay. Have you ever dumped someone? Sometimes I think about it. <laughs> I have never dumped someone, no. I see, I don't get it. He texted me out of the blue saying we should break up because we're not compatible. But I'm so normal and cute. What's so incompatible about us? Well, Mika Chan's a fast runner, so I don't think she'd be around here. Oh, that's the dog that I need understanding for. How come you always follow me around? Um, is that a problem? No, it's cool. Just why don't you walk next to me? It's like we're not friends. Friends? Oh, that is the weirdest conversation. What? I know people who dislike romance or dislike gore, but not many people dislike human drama. That's why I think it's a shame that they're- that they won't see a movie just because. Especially zombie music- movies. I wish they were more popular. Zombie mu- movie. <laughs> I should stop talking. Alright, time to go back. I think the only person I really haven't talked to- I, I don't think I talked to the Smith guy. Besides everybody else in the school, but I think we've talked to everybody else. Zombie music is pretty good- zombie music? See, I've never been a fan of, like, any, um, zombie games or any zombie, like, the whole zombie theme I've just never been a fan of. I don't know why. It's always the same. I just bought a bunch of antiques from an estate sale by a woman who lost her husband. I found these strange letters- WHAT THE FUCK?! Are you for real?! Why do you have this shit?! They're love letters. Don't you think it's strange? Throwing them away is a bit cold, and returning them to their owner is also kind of an admission uh, of reading them. Are these the letters that Hasano had told you about before? Wow. Literally the very last person. I could- he could have been the first person I talked to. Could have been. Alright, time to go to Granny now. Depressing hours time. Yay! <sighs> My spending yes. time with Hisano. My, I need to like. Mm. My, <gasps> yanking up my couch a little bit. Okay, need to get comfy. The letters from my husband, how? You told her they were at Diadra's. Di Diadra's. It must have been uh, when he came to collect the contents of the storehouse. That's where I kept the letters. Thank you, Yu Chun. From the bottom of this old woman's heart, I'm so happy. But I'm going to burn them. I just, I just spent so long getting these for you. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or cry. That's one of those awkward moments where you want to do both. I'll go get some matches. Oh. She's going to burn them. What should you do? Read them. The wooden well frame. I was once shorter than it. I have grown. Oh, I have outgrown it. In the time that we have been kept apart, I want to see you so much. 
How much sky, earth, and water do my words have to run through on and over to reach you, my dear Hisa-san? Oh my god. Um, 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 um. I've been missing, sorry, I've been missing some alerts. Um, Alan Ray, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Alexi, thank you so much for the two-month resub. And Jack for the 100 bits. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for the support. How I wish I was this postcard. Isn't that just so sad? I had no idea that he was being deceived. I'm sure he never imagined that the Hisa son he loved would someday wish to see him dead. What do you? <laughs> it, it, uh, uh, <laughs> I I don't know what to say. What do you? What do you mean? He was a kind, honest, and loyal man. He fell ill and became bedridden. I had to work to support our family. He would always apologize to me for falling as a hus for failing as a husband. When he did, he would smile so sadly. He was, his illness worsened and he must have been scared. He began to take his fear and frustration out on me. The man who had been so kind, but that didn't bother me at all. I had agreed that I would work and take care of him the day we were wed, in sickness and in health. But he forgot. He forgot who I was, and he forgot all about me. I couldn't bring myself to love him. I couldn't forgive the way he would look at me with such confusion in his eyes. And when I cried, he would wipe my tears away like the man he had been all those years ago. I couldn't forgive that. I couldn't bear that, that stranger in his body stealing his mind day after day. When he slept, I tried to kill him. But I couldn't. While I was standing over him, he looked up and he smiled at me. That same smile he gave when I was a girl. And in the same voice he would use to tell me he loved me, he asked, Who are you, ma'am? That was three years ago. After that day, he would forget who I was every morning, every day. He would ask me, who are you? And every day I would answer, who am I today? I was a total stranger to him until the very end. He was being cared for by a stranger as he passed away. That was his punishment, punishment for forgetting me. That must have been tough. I was relieved. Before I could feel anything else, I felt relief. Relief that it was finally over for both of us. It was then that I realized that I had been wanting him to die. And because I wished it, he felt he left this world and went to the gods. I am death itself. Please throw the letters away. I can't bear to see them anymore. I don't want to touch them anymore. I'm sorry.
can't even, like, begin to fathom that feeling. You know? Like, the way I play games, and I guess I live my life like this. Whenever friends tell me about, like, their bad situations or something, I always find something in myself that I can relate. Like, I always try to find a situation in my life where I can relate to their feeling to just, like, try to understand them more, right? And... Like, of course I can't relate to how Granny feels. But just the scary thought that that can happen when you're older, you know? That's terrifying. Like, I, I can't even begin to imagine how I would feel if that happened to Dom. Like, in my relationship, in, like... That's such a hard... feeling to grasp. I, I don't, I can't... I can't even begin to comprehend how hard that would be. That's... I can't, I can't even... So we need understanding and diligence. Okay. Oh, we have a book for that. Perfect. Oh, that's tough, man. That's a hard pill to swallow. Nato! Good day. I'm not quite used to meeting you here. Ah, oh, yes, there haven't been any further developments regarding the card. I suspect that it's mostly a prank in poor taste. I, I apologize for troubling you with it. I think it's a not though kind of day. <laughs> I have to wait, I have to do the funky boy though. So we have, I think we have three pit stops to do. The funky boy, the girl on the roof, and then we have to go talk to Daidara. I gotta check the status with Yumi too. Okay, we're not ready to advance yet. All right, funky boy. We're going with group B and how they're drawn. I think that's it. If it's not, <laughs> fuck this guy. F's in group A, G's in group B, N is in group A, O is in group B. P, I think, is in group B because of how they're drawn. You were able to tell the view, uh, able to view the letters in terms of curves and angles, and you ascertained the distinction. However, that one was easy. Oh no, there's another one. Just a little metal, a mental appetizer before the main course. Oh god. I knew I'd have to step my game up to give you a worthy challenge. All right, now for the next problem. Next one's another group riddle, baby. TC is group A. XE is group B. Sorry. Okay. MD is group A. Group RN is group B. BK is group A. NE is group B. I should have wrote this down. Which of these three is in groups A's speed dial? Sky, I got it. All right, I, I got like the image of my brain of all these letters, and nope, just what? Correct. What? Elemental number sixty-one, Prometheum. Much like Prometheus himself, your. Oh. <laughs> 
all synthetic elements and with prime atomic numbers 4397 and yeah i knew that right chat you knew that right 4397 and 101 atomic numbers yeah we're all like a thousand 5q right masataka ogawa thought he found element 43 and named it nipodium <laughs> He didn't find element 75 and, and didn't know. It is now time for me to spit the final verse. There's more! This time it's a find the mismatch problem. It took me a long time to come up with this one. Which one of these things is not like the others? Stop, need, decimal, arts. Penal, wines, onset, guns. All right. All right, all right. Which one of these should find a different circle of friends? I told you this one was gonna be rough. You're gonna have to bring me your A game. No! I was like semi-confident about that answer. Fuck. Do you want to be friends? No! Uh, okay! <laughs> no! Uh. Okay. Alright, not though! Wait, I should check, actually. I'm gonna check on the food court. I don't actually know if Adachi's around right now. No, okay, he's not. I don't know if the rest of his shit is automatic now. It's so weird. Oh! Chet! I, I told you that today I would talk about some theories. So, um, it's not actually a theory, but I have, like, a train of thought that I want to talk about, okay? So, um... Shen and I were watching the P4 anime. I'm up to episode seven now. Of course, like I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna watch anymore until like I beat the game. But in watching the anime, it sparked some, uh, it sparked some thoughts in my brain that I, uh, so, um, there is like, now that I look at Kubo's case, there's a certain similarity. I don't know if this is like, founded in any sort of evidence at all but like it got me thinking about how similar Kubo is to Namatame or whatever his name is I already forgot it they're similar I don't know what about it is similar but those two cases the more I look at it the more I'm like huh there's like a there's some sort- there feels like there's some sort of connection between the two, and I don't know what that connection is. I was hoping that if I talked it- I talked about it out loud, I could, like, figure something out, but it's not coming to me. It's just, like, it's a train of thought that I'm having right now. That's my train of thought. That, like, there's something very similar about these two cases. I don't know what- I still don't know what his deal is, but- I think that there is a connection between um, between that and possibly their shadows too. It's it's weird. There's something so weird about this whole situation. But that's all I'm gonna say about that theory. Uh, it's not like a, an official theory. It's just like a, like I said, it's a train of thought that I'm having right now. That uh, there's there's a connection there, and I think I should consider uh i shouldn't i shouldn't forget kubo's case i don't think we should forget about that i think that possibly i don't know how kind of like it kind of I, I kind of think about it in terms of like p5 a little bit where you can uh cause a psychotic like a, a psychotic breakdown or something uh, something along those lines i don't know how you can do that in this game i don't probably nothing like that but um, 
I don't know. It just seems so... That these two people seemingly fine, but then just kind of go nuts. It feels... It, like, it's so strange, dude. It's so strange. I keep thinking about it, man. I, I, I don't know what the answer is. I don't know. Just there, there's something similar about the two of them. And I, I can't, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know what, what it is. I wish I had the answer, but I don't. But anyway, so yeah, I, I, we're gonna hang out with Nato now. <laughs> I hope they allow Nanako-chan to have visitors soon. Of course, there's nothing we can do about that. All right, we're gonna hang out with Nato. Wait, do I have a fortune persona? I should probably do that um, before hanging out with Nato. <laughs> Crystal Think Train, it's kind of what that is. Like sometimes I have like a definite theory on what I think the plot is. And then sometimes I just like have a train of thought, but like there's no solution to my train of thought that I'm having. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with it. It just, there, there just, there's something there. There's something there that I'm missing. There's something that I'm missing. Do you remember those letters I gave you before? Well, I found more of them. If you want these too, you're more than welcome to them. Oh, I got more letters, cool. Just a crystal theory. Just a crystal theory. What was I doing? Oh, fortune persona, right. <sighs> I keep thinking, man. Cool, cool. It's been two in-game days. Yeah, today it's been the. Uh, uh. Well, I had to. I had to do a lot of side questing, like turning in a lot of stuff. So the days have been slower. Oh, you're right. I can try the bookman again. Oh, thank you. Forgot about the bookman. Yeah, on a daily basis, we have to do bookman, funky boy. Actually, that's just it. Th those two. All right, brave the questions. The gentle way. Um, origin of the medalist name, judo medalist names. Correct. What does the book The Punk's Way cover? How one punk lived his life. Fuck! Shut up. Okay, out of here. Dang it! I hate these quizzes, man. All right, Nato, I'm here. Let's hang out. No, I'll be fine by myself. Um, Nato, I'll be home by myself. I can walk home by myself. I can do it. Nato is holding a card. Is it a guy this time? Another love letter? <sighs> no, nothing so simple. Do you remember the card you delivered to me before? Judging by its appearance, it's on the same card stock, the same size, unsigned, just like last time. It's almost certain this came from the same person. Let's talk about this someplace more private. Oh. Hello. You checked out the card with Naoto. The card reads as follows. Dear detective, your prized possessions are in my hand. Can you recover them? The game is afoot. The Phantom Thief? The Phantom Thieves? Whoa! <laughs> uh, plot twist! <laughs> oh, okay. 
Hmm. It seems this is the work of the figure who snuck into the Shiragane estate. I'll send this to Yuki, uh, Yuki, huh, Yaku Shiji son, so he can turn it into the police as evidence. <sighs> the Phantom Thief? How absurd. I haven't the time to waste on this. Running from a challenge, not though. Uh. Uh. Why so uncomfortable? That isn't it. I'm not fretting. I'm just upholding the Shiragane name and seeing this case through to the end. Although, I, he broke into our estate and sent me this challenge. Leaving this in the police's hands could jeopardize the honor of the Shiragane name. Uh, that's why I don't like this. When I'm with you, I almost seem to lose my composure. I don't want to get involved with this sort of childish game. But to ignore it only makes me angry. Let's catch them together. Of course we will. You're the one who brought this to my attention. Let's work with, let's work together on this. Oh, look at the little plush. Mind charge? Oh my god! Stop getting good skills, god damn it! I don't know what to get rid of! <sighs> Fucking not on me! Broken as shit! Now that it's been decided, let's re-examine the first card. There must be some sort of hint there. Oh, and of course I only intend to investigate this case in our free time. I have something else I must do. What? I'll see you again. What do you mean, something else? <laughs> Welcome home, big bro. It looks like Ryuiji was screaming that he was a phantom thief five years before he was one <laughs> Wow, it's like we heard Ryuji <laughs> We heard Ryuji from five years in the future, damn! <laughs> that was pretty good, man. Thank you for the hundred bits, Jack. I appreciate it. Oh, that was good. Oh man, I should go to the janitor job at some point. I've been neglecting the nurse for a while. Oh yeah, Rise. Uh, bye. <laughs> Kanji. I actually don't know if we can rank up with Kanji or not. Maybe I should just hang out with him. What? I don't remember if I can rank up with him or not. Um, I think he's okay though. You know what, I'll do it anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll do it anyway. Yeah. My wow. nose is stuffy. She warned me about the obvious stuff, but after she was done with that, she went on this thing about how buff I was. That's all it was. I went in there thinking I was going to get expelled, so it kind of caught me off guard. I wonder what that was about. She's forgiven you. Huh. Is that it? <laughs> well, it seems weird to me, but I guess it's over with now. How come she didn't call you guys out? It's not fair that it was just me. <laughs> you enjoyed your idle chat with Kanji. Alright, so he'll rank up next time. Whoa. That's good. That's good. He might have already been like that, though. Damn, look at the time. Sorry for keeping you out here with me. Oh, yeah, you want some of this? I want you to have this, senpai. Yoki Soba Cornet, all right, all right. Pretty good, pretty good. Night. Okay. So, we have Funky Boy. 
We have Mr. Bookworm Guy. All right, funky boy, I'm coming for you. I'm legit on holiday right now. I arrived today, but I'm not missing your stream. Oh my god! I hope you had fun on your holiday. Thank you so much for the 100 bits on Blade. I appreciate it. You want to see my social links? Sure, I can bring it up in a second. Um, stop me. Decimal Arts, Penal Wines, Onset Guns. Check on these two ladies up here. Jeez, I can't get through to this girl. Do you need help speaking? Uh, I don't know what to say to you. So, uh, it's not like I'm worried about it. Leave me alone. Uh, she's defensive about her speech. Listen to her. I don't have anything to say to you. Just leave. Okay. F. We're not doing so hot. All right. So you guys want to see my social links? We are. Yosuke nine. You go seven. Kanji five. Dojiman nine. Rise four. Uh, Nanako nine. Fox six. Nato four. Daisuke eight. I. I don't hang out with Naoki, but I should. Uh, old lady seven, young mother, oops, nurse seven, uh, I six, Yumi seven, Adachi is weird as fuck. I, I, I'm mad about Adachi. I can't figure it out. It bugs me. Student is the hardest three phase of this hey, I only skipped Teddy because he's automatic. So it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, Not, I appreciate it. Um, Senpai? You're not gonna rank up, are you? Not though. Alright, um, let's go talk to the bookworm and try his thing again. Teddy Med! <laughs> I'm sorry, Elner. Hmm. Oh, bookworm. I'm passing him right up. All right, the punk's way covers how one can become a punk. Actually, no, how one should live as a punk. Yeah. Guide to pests. How many pages were used per pest? One. Fuck. This guy sucks. I'm gonna go hang out with Yukiko, actually. Or maybe I'll see if Rise or Kanji, one of them, are available. <sighs> so I can rank up with Yukiko. You know what? I kind of miss Kanji. Oh, Kanji's not here. Never mind. So I guess Yukiko. <laughs> I want to rank up Nato so bad. Alrighty. 
Yukiko. Yukiko seems embarrassed for some reason. Um. Do you remember Kase-san, the waitress? She seems to have told everyone about you. Now they're saying I should bring you home. Adults are so quick to poke fun at me. It's such a hassle, isn't it? But of course my family runs an inn, so guests come by all the time. Maybe next time you can just come in? Oh, Yuki-chan. Oh, the deputy mayor. The people at the inn seemed very busy. Is something going on? <laughs> huh? Oh. oh! Today was the interview for the travel show. On TV? That's great. You'll try and make Inaba look inviting, won't you? I'm sorry. I have to go. An interview? It's for a travel show. It looked like a serious show, and we agreed to it because my mother and I won't be filmed. But they need me to ke to help clean, so I have to go now. There you are, Yuki-chan! Kasei-san, what's wrong? That TV crew came! We don't go- but don't go to the inn! It was a trick! It's those people from that News of the Weird show! What? Hi, piano! <laughs> And I think they're looking for you, so stay, so stay put. You got that? Okay, but... There you are. Uh... No use in hiding, future manager of the Cursed Inn. Cursed Inn? We know all about that murder case. Mayumi Yamano stayed at your place, right? And you guys have been hurting what with uh, the drop in visitors, huh? So I came up with a great idea. The high school manager's embarrassing struggle renovating the cursed inn. How's that grab you? The customers will be pouring in, I tell you. I don't understand what you... I wanted you to be the star. When we introduce the hot springs, let us film a little bathing scene, eh? The modest manager's steamy service. Our ratings will be through the roof. That sounds like a great idea. Listen, you... Anyway, please leave. We are not interested in your coverage. You're refusing? Look, kid. You don't know the power of television, do you? Well, I can't blame you living in the countryside. We're trying to help you out here. I mean, do you want the patrons to dry up? If you're going to be the next manager, I'm trusting you to make the right decision here. I won't be the next manager. Oh, really? Hmm, that's so? Well, you just say the word and I can hook you up with a better gig than running this dump of an inn. You should call yourself the former high school innkeeper. <laughs> I'm already liking the sound of that. Why don't you hear me out? How dare you say that to Yuki-chan? It's okay. Let him say what he wants. He'll go home once he gets it all out. What the shit? You say your inn has been going on, going for generations, but all that means is it's crappy and run down. Tradition is so last year. You'd be better off if you did close up, if you close up shop. I've seen the stuff you serve. Small portions, decent service, nothing that stands out. If you want customers, you just do the same old, same old. You guys don't get that, and that's why you suck. Your waitresses don't even give any extra service unless you tip them, huh? Hey, I know. Why don't you make all the waitresses young girls and have them do all-day menus? You know, spread the futon out, then go straight in. But anyways, I was saying, let's give your place a little TV-style publicity. Use your head, will ya? The hell up! Don't say another word about our inn. Who'd take your stupid ideas seriously? From now on, we refuse any coverage from your station. You bitch. If that's how you want to play it, I'll plaster those words all over primetime. See how that feels. Go ahead, by all means. And we'll respond with an official complaint to your sponsors. This isn't sounding good, sir. Damn, Yukiko Savage! Get him, girl! <sighs> I said some incredible things. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. Congratulations. <laughs> I should contact the inn. I'll see you later. Take him down. I just kind of lost it when he was insulting everybody. Was I scary? You should have said more. <laughs> you were cool. 
Really? Thank goodness. There was a time not long ago when I thought it'd be better off if it closed, but it's like my home. It's where everyone in my world is. I can't let it close. Okay, that was pretty good. Stay just a little longer. My heart's still racing. Please. Oh, God. Thank you. Huh? Yeah, Yukiko. At least her story is pretty good. <laughs> Alright, and now we go out. Hopefully, we can hang out with Nato. I'm crossing my fingers that Nato's out there. Welcome home, big bro. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> Every time. No! Nanto's not here. Dang. Oh, I actually might hang out with her. Aw, oh, Yosuke's up there too, and I gotta finish him. Dang it. Um. Yosuke, your eye! I'm gonna go with I! I'm sorry, Yosuke! Don't kill me! <laughs> huh? It's definitely time to go. Before I go, I brought a little something Here. for you. Plum candy. Hell yeah. Oh no, that's not enough to rank up. Fuck! Uh. Dang! Not enough for I. Alright, gotta make the rounds. Funky boys up. I'm here for payback, funky boy. Most impressive, I was firing my shots but wasting ammunition. My chance to hit you was like zero division. All the other words can be formed into at least two other single word anagrams that use every letter. When you watch more of Tech 4 anime, I would recommend filming your reaction to the King's game because the scene is ten times better in the anime. I, I, I don't think I, I get that question a lot. I don't think I can uh, uh, record myself. Well, I mean, like, I can record myself with the P4 anime, but, like, uh, I, I don't think it's worth it. Because uh, I can't monetize it or anything. Because, uh, yeah, it's kind of copyrighted material. I don't know, I keep thinking about it, but I don't I don't know if I have the time. Unfortunately. <laughs> I might, I don't know, I'll still consider it though. Thank you for on your bits. This means that you are the champion, my friend. You are no longer just a riddle brother. You and I are like riddle partners in crime or riddle soulmates, or like some kind of crazy riddle epoxy. So, to celebrate this kinship of game gamesmanship, I'll hook you up with this. Stay sharp, my man. Yo, we got chewing soul? We're done. Wait, we're done with Funky Boy? That's it? That's it. No more Funky Boy. We have defeated all of Funky Boy's riddles. He's done. What do I do without Funky Boy? Can't do it. I need more riddles. Wait, maybe he's done with his riddles because he's the murderer. He's got stuff to do. Don't underestimate the power. 
a funky boy. Could be the murderer, man. Did I say two pages last time? I actually don't remember what I said. I think I said two, though. Oh, okay. Never mind. I think I just said the same thing twice. Oops. It's fine. Anyway. So I have to go on the rooftop of the school. I forgot about those girls up there. Oh, I said one last time. Dang it. Yeah, my memory is bad. All right, Yukiko, Nato, I, three girls that I can't hang out with because they all aren't ready to advance. Fuck. This is torture. All right, I have to go to the roof. Um, is Rise available? No. To the roof. When you read a book, it's like a whole world opens up just, just for you. I get so excited the first time I open a book. She's opening up! lessons. Oh, with your current expression, you can speak well enough to teach others. If you really want to teach someone, then maybe I'll listen to you for a while just to be nice. Yo, Pog. You should have told me this earlier. Oh, um, that's not right. It would have been more desirable if you would have imparted this wisdom at a much earlier occasion. Like that? Whoa! Damn, those expression lessons are impressive. What the shit? I would like to talk like that. After a lesson from you, Narakami. Shit, son. That's impressive. I don't know how he did that. <laughs> Dude, you Narakami, the fucking legend, bro. Like, actual legend over here. I don't know how he does it. Kanji! It's a kanji day. Can I get your number? <laughs> God, I hate it. <sighs> I can't get this place out of my head. I keep wondering if that rabbit the kid tossed out of might out might have washed ashore around here. If he finds it now, he'll just feel bad. Not that I'm waiting in today or anything. Hey, mister. Sanachan was really happy. I've been looking for you ever since. Look, kid, quit calling. Ah, forget it. Can you make some more, mister? My mom really wants one. Sanachan's mom does too. They said they'll pay you. Huh? Pay me? I don't need that. It ain't like I'm. It ain't like I'm a pro at this. My mom wants a cat, and Sanachan's mom wants a dog, and my teacher wants a pink alligator. <gasps> the pink alligator returns. Oh, Nan. Oh, Nanako would love a pink alligator. I bet. A pink alligator. Oh, like that one in that storybook, huh? Fine then, I'll get around to it sometime. Thank you, remember you promised. The pink alligator. <sighs> Strange situation I got myself into, ain't it? It's good for you. Good, I don't really know. <laughs> when I was in elementary school, I fixed the classmate's bag this one time. Thinking back, I guess I liked her. I only did it to make her happy, but the next day, all the girls were making fun of her. Aw, she cried. I didn't understand why, but you know, I thought I'd done something wrong. So I never thought I'd be thanked for doing stuff like this. And it feels good, <laughs> hearing thank you. I like it. Aww. Aww, Kanji. Poor guy 
dies at level 35. Gets no love. Uh, sorry, Kanji. You kind of got dropped early on. Everybody else, like, is literally double his level. <laughs> well, I got a jet. I have to go to Okina Station, to the fabric shop. I'm out of materials, so later. Aww. I'm so proud of Kanji, man. I'm proud of him. You hear someone at the front door. Your order from the show has arrived. Oh. Instead of Nanako telling me I have my order coming in the mail, I have to do it this way and it feels a lot more lonely. That's sad. Welcome home, big bro. Wait, what? There's a... There's so many cats, man. So many cats. I got some shoes. I got my girlfriend a gift. I got her some nice shoes, because I'm a good boyfriend, you see. <gasps> Not, though! Not even questioning it. Hi! Good. <laughs> no other people exist in this game. <laughs> Welcome to home, big bro. Thank you for the hundred bits, I appreciate it. Yes! Oh. Look at the time, I apologize for keeping you out so late. Please do accept this. Please accept it. Mini melon bread! Nato gives me the best gifts. Good night. I love being so loyal and nice, I love my girl. Oh, hi, Nato! Elner? Elner? Don't... No? No. <laughs> wow, look at those clouds. I heard the weather's gonna get worse starting tomorrow. Don't tell me the fog's gonna come back. One of these days I'm gonna get hurt in the dark on my way home from cram school. Why don't I start walking you home sem tomorrow, senpai? Uh-oh, the weather's gonna be bad. I want, to, I want you all to know I'm not motivated to do anything right now. As soon as you discover something's wrong, the sorrow is just going to stick with you. Really, don't rush into marriage. <laughs> not that young people like you would understand until after you've made the mistake. I just want a bear. I uh, want a beer. Oh, I'm not a bear. I just want a beer. Ah, yes, speaking of marriage and beer. Alcohol has to do with the roots of the word bridal. Do you know how? Uh, hanamura -kun? What? Why me? Hey, wait, what was that? What was the tech? What was the question? Is that even in the textbook? The roots of bridal? Bride ale. Oh, is that where it comes from? What? It seems this came about because in England, ale was drunk during festivals and merry gatherings, and you can't get through a marriage without a drink or two anyway. What? Actually? What does this have to do with math? Thanks, though. I wasn't listening at all. The things this game teaches you sometimes. I'm so confused. Nato! Good day. I'd like you to come with me after school. Ooh. I will decide later, but I will come back for you, Nato. Oh. No, you're my plans. Don't worry. I don't worry. You're. I, I will. I just need to, you know, talk to some people. Don't. I'm coming for you. Oh boy. I made her sad. Oops. I didn't mean to. All right, so we got Funky Boy done. Did it say that I ranked up with uh, Yosuke? Like, or not ranked up, but like, I can rank up. I don't remember if I skipped through that. No, not ready to advance, okay. All right, to the roof. 
You're my plans. Look, Lotus, look. I want to become a vet. That's why I study so much. Slowly, this girl talks to me more and more. The awkward girl is teary-eyed. Your lesson didn't work. I just tried starting up a cheerful conversation with a girl in my class, but I got nervous all of a sudden. I said something I wasn't even thinking. Move aside, ugly. I'm coming through. What should I do? She just started crying. Apologize. Your current courage allows you to give a passionate speech about your courage. You instructed her about the social importance of having the courage to apologize for your mistakes. You're right, I'll apologize to her. Hurting others without apologizing is selfish and cowardly. I'll go apologize. Maybe after I do, I can try and have a real conversation with her. I can't ex keep ex uh, using my bad conversation skills as an excuse. I'll do my best. Oh, I can report to the fox now! Yo! You Narakami! All right, I have to go into town now. Damn, boy. All right, bookworm. I got this. Uh, medalist names. Uh, live as a punk. We're gonna go with three pages. No, it's two pages, you fuck! This game sucks. Not though, I'm coming for you. Yes. How do you forget she exists? She's so cute. But like, she's Max, so I, I, I don't want to hang out with her anymore. <laughs> Nato is thinking carefully as she stares at the two cards laid out in front of her. These cards came from Shiroku store. When I talked with the owner, her description matched the one you gave. This phantom thief purchased these cards mere days before handing one to you. If that's the case, it's hard to imagine that any elaborate process was performed on the card. Although, I do detect the faint lingering scent of citrus, a very weak cologne, perhaps. <sighs> what should I do? Eat it. Soak it. Hmm. It is possible to treat it in such a way as to make letters appear in water, but... Wait, letters appearing? That scent. Impossible, but could it be? Your house is closer. Let's do let's go test it out now. Whoa! We're going to my house? Practically dragged by not though. We're alone in my house. Okay. Woo. As you toast the card with the fire from the stove, burnt letters appear. It really was invisible ink. The citrus juice is staining the paper fir burn first, making it legible. Damn. A grown man employing such childish tricks. And this sentence here. The card reads as follows. Eating letters with a red face. Eating letters with a red face? This is... A riddle? Yes. Yes, and the answer is a mailbox. A mailbox. There was one at the in the shopping district. Let's go. Oh, we already left the house! quick central shopping district at the mailbox next to diadora there was something hidden behind the mailbox this is grandpa had this why did he keep it what was it 
Um, I made this when I was a child. It's a... Uh, a detective badge. Oh, it has no real function though. That's so cute. A penny challenge and the price was this stolen detective badge. I have an idea who the phantom thief might be, but none as to his, none as to his motive. This is an important case to me, and yet without you I'd never have cracked it. Rather I wouldn't have bothered. You have my Thank gratitude. You. We didn't get any points with Nato. That's so bad. But that's really cute that she had a detective fish. Baby Nato wanted to be a detective. Oh, it's so cute. I think this isn't the time to play along with such games, but I think I'll let this play out and um if possible. Let's do it. Um, yes. She's the cutest! <laughs> I'll see you again. She's so cute. I can't take it, man. I have a girlfriend. 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 We should hang out with Rise. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> oh. oh, Kanji. Oh, I should hang out with oh Kanji and Rise. Uh, okay, we'll go with Rise today. Breathe, Lotus, breathe. <laughs> You're so cute. Senpai. Oh, hi, Rise. Wait, I actually don't think I need to hang out with Rise. She's gonna rank up next time we see her, so, um... Yeah, never mind. We're fine with Rise. Kanji, though. <laughs> yeah. Spend the evening yeah. with Kanji. <laughs> no! No, one... no! He's not gonna rank up! Fuck! No. Wasn't enough. I should have gotten a persona. I'm lazy when it comes to getting the personas for the fucking links and shit. Fuck. Alrighty. So it's raining, so that means not a lot of people are going to want to hang out. And that also means that nobody's going to be on the roof, man. No! This is so sad. I'm going to play Despacito, man. Oh boy. Nobody wants to hang out on rainy days! At the very least, we actually did complete the fox thing, which is nice. So I can at least report to the fox. It's something. We got one request done in that time. Not even- oh, okay, the bookworm is still here. Alright, I got you, man. Alright, medalist names. Live as a punk. Two pages. Uh, what's the solution to the gold medal winning puzzle? He. Fuck. <sighs> I literally hate this game. All right, Fox. <laughs> he fuck. <laughs> uh. I wish. Anyway, uh, all right, Fox, give me something. Give me a new request, too. Oh, wait, I have to go pick up a new request on the next day. I can't get it tonight. 
Yep, yep. Fox is so cute. his face just standing there the whole time just like the thing in his mouth and just eh. oh i can work as a janitor tonight that's probably a good idea right yeah time to go see the nurse Woo! my favorite social link ever Woo! is there anybody that like hangs out in at night in the rain probably probably not Welcome home, big bro. Thanks, Chad! Hi! Oh boy! And it's raining again. You know that the plot's gonna be coming soon, man. The plot is coming. Oh no! I'm not ready. I'm not ready! I'm not ready for more plot! Time to go to the meat dimension. Wait, first I gotta take care of this guy. Maybe it's, uh, wheat. Too bad. Ah, fuck. Why is it the last option that I try? Why? He <laughs> fuck, we fuck. <laughs> oh, I hate you guys. Time to garden all by myself. That's my favorite. Look at my melons. <sighs> I just had to do that by myself. Going Dojima. <sighs> I'm so scared. Like, I'm legitimately scared for where this plot's about to go. Oh, wait. This isn't a janitor day. Oh, wait. Go back home. Sorry. I'm not thinking. Uh. All right, time to finish my book. Oh, this is the Picross rules book that I was supposed to read for the answer. Now it's going to tell me the answer. 
Riddles submitted from children across the country are listed in this book. The gold medal will... Uh, it's me. Oh, now I get the answer! What do you call the cutest girl in the world? Me. Got it now! <laughs> Whatever. Whatever! I hate this game! Oh, <gasps> Yo! Diligence! Pog! Understanding is our last stat! So wait, now it's me fuck. <laughs> of course it's me fuck. It's Sunday! Soma? Fuck! Oh my god! I want both of them! I gotta go for the Soma, man! Sunday, so we're gonna hang out with Granny. I don't know if she's out on rainy days, though. Hopefully she is. And I also need to stop by the shrine really quick to pick up a new request. <laughs> God damn it, Chad, you make fun of me. Tanaka, fuck. Granny, fuck. <laughs> My whole life is fuck. All right, I got this. Ready? I'm gonna get all these answers correct. First time, first try, first try. Me! You got them all right, that really is surprising. To be honest, I didn't think you could get all those. Yeah, it just took me like 50 tries, that's fine. You really did read all the books I gave you, I'm so happy. Yeah, I read all of them. It's fun to read a book, but I realized that it's fun to talk to somebody about books too. I learned this because of you, so thank you. Got another book, woo! To the shrine. Almost took a whole week, I know, right? <laughs> Literally. The fox is gonna jump off the roof! There he is! Woo! Hastily scrawled in a man's handwriting. I'm scared of them, but I must get used to them. I don't even want to write the word cats. It seems the fox wants you to fulfill. Wait, somebody who's scared of cats? How can you be afraid of cats? What? Okay. That's strange. They hurt you? What? Cats are great! <laughs> I don't know if Granny's gonna be here. Uh, hopefully Granny's here. No! Granny! What do we do? I have to go to the meat dimension! That's sad. Hmm. I don't know if I have enough Sundays left in the game to actually hang out with Granny. I hope so. We still got like three ranks, so yeah, we need three Sundays. She's also available on holidays, so I'll have to make, uh, I'll have to pay attention to that.
The meat dimension. No! I need my understanding to be maxed, main. Fuck. And now, the weather. Uh-oh, some plot. Okay. Weather announcer is gonna be like, some thick fog is gonna roll in tonight. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, the a thick, thick fog, fog is expected to form in the Inaba region, region later, later tonight. tonight. Yay. Ah, my favorite. I love plot. I'm so ready for some... some juicy fucking plot, man. Alright, so we saved Nanako. She shouldn't be in the TV. It's midnight. Should we just go in the emote only? Right, or if it's... We could just go into emote only, it's fine. <laughs> I don't want you to, like, go crazy if, if chat's being bad. We can go for a little bit. We'll just see how chat behaves. <laughs> okay. No one's on the midnight channel. Nanako has been rescued and you were able to arrest the culprit. There's probably no need to watch the midnight channel anymore. There's something weird about Namatame, though. The fog from yesterday is still there this morning. Oh, there he is! Take a look at this. Namatame is in today's paper. The front page's headline article says that Namatame has regained consciousness. Today before dawn, the suspect Taro Namatame, who had been confined in a local hospital, regained consciousness. In response to the police questioning, he testified that he is sorry for what he has done and was scared. From here on, the police are hoping to solve the entire case based on the suspect's depositions. So it's finally over. It's not. Yeah, seriously. It's not I wish we could have done it sooner. Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? And it's so chilly. <sighs> It rarely gets this cold in November. So who's gonna die? Oh! My god! Hi, it's you guys. Hi! Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako. <gasps> oh my god. Thank god she's okay. So she's getting a little better. Thank oh, goodness. I'm like... I was holding my breath, man. Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. Um... What's he charged with? Two counts of kidnappings and murder and five counts of attempted murder. Those are serious crimes. I think it'll go down in history as one of the worst sprees in Japan. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together a story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. That son of a bitch! Yeah, well... I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Yosuke. 
Sorry. I'm all right. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. I don't know, man. This literally makes zero sense. What? But forget him. Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Of course! Let's tell the others once we get to school. I, I don't believe a single bit of this until I hear it come straight from Namatame's fucking mouth. I want to... He... He didn't, like, admit to it or anything. They just said that he woke up. And he's charged. But did he actually... I don't think he actually... I'm... This is... Ugh! Finals are next week! You may have been very busy with your studies. May, uh, make sure you keep up on your personal grooming. What?! Every year, some boys come stumbling into class with stubble on their chins. Of course, their five o'clock shadow is more of a five-day shadow. Wow! What the fuck? Speaking of facial hair, some nations used to impose a tax on facial hair. The 18th century Russia, they also had a hat tax, bath tax, laundry tax, chimney tax, and more to fund their military. Those sure were taxing times. Oh my god! Be sure to take this down. Okay. Ever seen oh. that's declassified? She uh. is coconut hat. No one can change my mind. Hey, Chie has a very cute coconut head, I'll mind you. Thank you for the $3, I appreciate it. <laughs> you never know what'll be on the test. Uh, it's just like you never know what you what will be taxed next. We <laughs> never know what you take. Shut up! Nanako! Nanako. Everyone's here to see you. Big Bo. <laughs> Talking still seems painful for her. Nevertheless, Nanako looks happy. Dojima san. Ugh. How many times does this make it today? I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. <clears throat> Sorry. Um. Are your injuries that bad? Hmm. Well, my wounds have just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. concerning Nanako's condition from the doctor. Her condition is stable for now, but... Uh, but? I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako-chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. Adachi, how's it going with Namatame? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. So he never said anything, he's just charged. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I want to see that interrogation, buddy boy! I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, 
I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out, and there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased, which is quite unusual. I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. No, that would explain so much. Namatame's interrogation has uh, finally begun. The fog that won't lift and people's mysterious health problems. For now, it seems that you can only watch and wait to see how things will turn out. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. What? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before, so something seems off. Isn't that scary? I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing? This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. This fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! He's not the first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my. I... I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> you... you can't be serious. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then. Why would she just leave? What an asshole! Oh wow, I think I'm not feeling well. Bye! Business has been so slow lately. Like, what is your problem? If I was talking to somebody and they said that they weren't feeling well, I'd be like, oh, well, uh, you know, do you need me to take you to a hospital or something? You, you're not just, oh, I have to go grocery shopping. Okay, whatever. You know, I never, I didn't even think about like supernatural answers in this game. I've been trying to think of like this game. Ugh, sorry, I'm adjusting my seat, okay. I've been thinking about this game in a sense of like, uh, uh, of course I should have considered like supernatural answers. I, I considered that in like P5 with the, uh, I I I'm not gonna say spoilers, but yeah, like the moment I thought of like supernatural answers, I got the answer to like the plot of P5. But like, I didn't even think about that for this game. So, uh, uh, I had the question earlier, who runs the Midnight Channel? How 
does this person or persons control weather? Like, can you? If you have multiple days of fog in a row, thicker than usual, it makes me feel like this person can actually control the weather, which is strange. But that also, I don't know if that would make sense. They would just kill more, right? trying to think in like the motive of the person doing all of this like d what does the fog actually do what does like it's boggling it's fucking mind boggling I'm, I'm... I don't think the fog is poisonous I think it has mental I'm gonna save in a new slot I think it has more so, like, mental repercussions than physical- what well, maybe, like, physical ones, too, but it's just- There's something- there's something I'm not- I'm starting to think, like, the fog affected- has, Or the fog is affecting, uh, like, maybe Namatame and Kubo, psychologically. They aren't- the <sighs> Yo, this is super ominous. It's just dead fucking s silence. Okay, this is like really 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 creepy. I'm gonna hang out with Kanji. Yeah. Yeah. This is really fucking creepy, dude. I just so there's there's somebody. Uh, I have to think about that more. I have so many questions. Can someone control the weather? It's the same person who's running the Midnight Channel. How? Like it's some sort of god? But that just seems so strange. I don't, I don't want to consider, like, a supernatural option here. I don't think it's... Uh. The mode only for 10 minutes straight poggers. Hey, gotta do it, man. Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. I'm just so perplexed. <laughs> oh, Kanji gave me mouthwash! First Yosuke, Later. now Kanji! So does the fog have psychological effects? That really, that sparked something. It's still foggy! We know that the person behind this said that if we saved Nanako, somebody else would be thrown in and be killed. Um, so maybe that's why the fog is not lifting. Because they mad. We didn't listen to them. So... We saved Nanako. There's still fog. Who's gonna die? I'm... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, there's... That's, that's an, that's... The weather's really been weird lately. What's up with all this fog? This fog looks like it's going to stay here forever. But I heard it's nothing to worry about. That's what some great guy on TV said. Oh, I also heard that it's poisonous, very toxic, and nobody even knows why it's toxic. Man, just thinking about how toxic it is makes me feel ill. I should probably stay at home for a while. Cough. You're just too lazy to take the finals beginning next week, aren't you? How long is this fog gonna last? And for what reason? Ugh, it's seriously too cold now. Such a painful season if you've got back pain. Ow! See? Speaking of back pain, there's a di there's a deity that makes your back hurt. It's a titan named Atlas. Do you know about him? He's often depicted carrying the earth on his shoulders. And it looks really heavy. It makes me hurt just looking at it. And atlases are also used in geography class. Do you know why they- Oh, do you know what they are? Well then, Yukun. Who doesn't look like he'd know? What? I am- 500 IQ, thank you. Do you know what an atlas is? Very good. An atlas is a book of maps. Um, thank you so much, Cubic, for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Uh, 
Mercator's book of maps featured a large picture of Atlas on the cover. Uh, notice the spelling. It's spelled A-T-L-A-S. Okay. I mean, how else would you spell it? I'm so smart! You want me to lift the emote only? Um, sure. I guess we can for now. The police have probably begun to question Namatame. Oh, I wish I could, like, see the interrogation. I really want to see that interrogation. Really bad! Ooh! The music! It's just so... Ah, this is terrible. Hi, Yosuke! Visit Nanako? I can go visit Nanako? I might. Let me check out what I can do. Oh. Hi, Hanako. Are you on good terms with that Prince of Juness? Who does she mean? Oh, you mean that bear? Bear, what are you talking about? It seems you were mistaken. Oh. Hanako got a thing for Yosuke, I think. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I can hang out with anybody. This is so creepy. So I can I can probably just take some. Oh, I can hang out with my girlfriend. So maybe I can hang out with people. Uh, this is creepy. I just want. Oh, Nato. Nato! 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 Not ready to advance yet! Fuck! No! Not ready to advance yet! Fuck! You have a quest! Do people ever think they'd be happier if they could go back and live in the past? I've been wondering. I've only been listening to my radio, and it's like my heart just yearns for a return to those simpler times. Listening to the radio on a lazy summer day, just the two of us without a care in the world. The radio I'm listening to hasn't changed at all. Why is the rest of the world so different? To be honest, I have another favor to ask of you. Let's hear it. I want to build another crystal radio, just like the one I had whenever I was a kid, but I can't find what I need. I need some old ore. Cool. Do I not have it? Nope. Okay. Ooh, what are they gossiping about? Think you should buy a gas mask? I don't know if that's gonna help, man. This is, uh... There's some weird shit going on, and I don't know what... God! I just... Ah, uh, this music. Kanji wants to go to the beach. Um... Ah... Uh, what do I do, man? I also need to solve my new fox thing, but like... Damn, I hate listening to this... Unsettling music. And it just makes me want to... Go hang out with somebody to make it stop. Oh, it's the Rona. Oh, the, the fog is causing the Rona. Uh, oh, do I have enough understanding? No, I didn't get enough understanding for the dog yet. Fuck the dog, man. Okay, um... Hi. Hi. Um, hi, old man. Somebody, uh, you got a fox request? No. Do you have a fox request? No. How about you? Alright. Leaving. Don't fuck the- th you know what I meant. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, another quest. He wants another lamp? Another one? Jeez, how many lamps? I'm getting married. 
The man seems melancholic about his wedding for some reason. Damn it, everything would be great if it wasn't for him. Wait, what? Who am I talking about? That horrendous furball. The cat- Oh, this is the fox request! I'm scared, I can't even say it! Those fang demons are terrifying! A cat? Don't say the C word! The man is actually physically trembling at the thought of cats. Perhaps he's the one who wrote the Ema request. He wants to overcome his fear of cats. The meowing and the whiskers and the evil little claws, it's all just so scary. Of all the pets, Miyoko-san wants to have a cat. She said we can't get married if I won't let her have one. Why must you put me through this horrible test, Miyoko-san? You try and figure out a way to force him to overcome his fear. Wow. <laughs> Uh, talk to him first. Stop it. Stop that right now. What do you want? Money? I'll give you money. Just get away from me. Okay. Bring a cat here. Meow. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I, um. Okay, none of those options worked. Um, okay. I'm gonna give this cat a fucking fish. I keep feeding this goddamn cat. Um, okay. Um, I, I don't. Uh, okay. God, I hate this music. I, I, uh, uh. Uh, go, go away, go away, go away. Oh god, who- let's just hang out with Nato. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I just want to get out of here. Just, just something, do something. Uh, music would be nice, actually. Uh, Nato, hi! We still don't get music! Oh my god. Inaba, Central Shopping District. You spent time for Zignato. Oh, please. I'll do anything for music back. Oh. Okay, music. Whew. And we're back outside. Okay, yeah, it's great. That's... Wonderful. Ah. Oh, I. Oh, and Yosuke. God damn it, I've been neglecting Yosuke. But like, I. But like, Yosuke. But like, I. Ah, uh, fuck. I. We'll get Max Yosuke soon. <laughs> Music, please! Okay, so now I's gonna rank up next time we hang out. Good. Here. Uh, why do I feel like we already did this? See you again. See, next time I would choose Yosuke over I, so it's okay. <laughs> he only needs one more rank up, but I needs like three more. Today is Labor Appreciation Day, so you have the day off. Oh, it's a holiday. Does that mean I can hang out with Granny? It's still foggy. I hate this so much. This is the worst! Oh my god! Just doesn't end! Oh. Granny! Yuchan, those! Hisano is surprised about something. You feel your relationship is gonna become closer? Let's hang out with Granny. My. Those are the letters I sent to my husband. You told her that you had found these at Daidara as well. 
Is that so? So he'd been keeping my letters in the storehouse as well. <laughs> we thought alike. I need to throw these away as well. But first, can you let me read them? We compared our hair, now it reaches my shoulders. If not you, then who? will tie it up for me when it becomes necessary. The path you left on has long been buried by fallen leaves. Will I be able to meet you again when the cherry blossoms bloom and the kaikdas buzz? Each day grows brighter. I can feel you coming closer step by step. I wrote this decades ago, but who knew that I would become death? That poem you sent me was from the uh, from the Issei? Ice? Issei? Wasn't it? It's fitting as I'm waiting here for you. But I wish I could just spring away from here and run to your arms. It would be an adventure to search for the cowrie of the swallows in order to win your heart. If I could transform my heart into the wind and make it rush to your side, would you take it into your hand? I loved him this much. And because I loved him, it saddened me that he forgot my love. <sighs> I was miserable and jealous. I was a fool. I was left behind because I was such a fool. He was all that I had. Now he's gone. I must accept that. You're right, but can I do it? This just like keeps getting worse and worse. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh. Tanaka Pog, my Soma came in. Yikes, yikes, I hate this, I hate this so much. Ugh. Not though! You're gonna rank up now though, so I guess I. Uh, I should hang out with somebody else, I suppose. Chie! See, if Yosuke was available, I would hang out with Yosuke, but guess who's not available? I guess I'm going home. Yeah, I'm going home. I'm gonna read a book. Actually. Oh, wait, janitor job. Oh, I forgot I could do that. Wait, shit, I just went back home. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Oops. Let's get a rank up with the nurse. Woo! Oh! Piano. Oh, you there. Sorry, but can you take this person to the... I'm fine. But your face is very pale. You're aware that you've gained something of a reputation recently, right? I'm not the only one who would rather see you return to the easy to work with Sayuchan from not too long ago. I have work to do, if you'll excuse me. Huh. Don't tell me you're slacking off too. 
I know I'm getting nowhere, but I have to do it. She's genuinely tormented. You're so worried about Sayuko, you hesitate to even say something to her. What? That's it? Goodbye now. <laughs> Nothing happened! Great! Talk! Okay, that's, um... Okay. Guess we're done here. Can't even see the sky with all this fog. I really don't like this weather. Huh? Why? I'm fine with it. Some people say the fog is poisonous, but I don't feel bad at all. You're worrying too much. Just imagine that the town was supposed to be like this from the very beginning. Pretend that this is natural. You say so. More students are calling in sick lately, but I guess it's nothing really unusual. It's weird, man. It's weird. I don't know what's... I'd, oh, finally, some happy music. Huh. Not though! Good day. Hi! Do you have any plans after school? I would like you to come with me. Yeah! I'll decide later, though. I will get back oh. to you. Don't worry, I'm coming back for you. Maybe I should go home for today. The fog doesn't seem to be lifting either. Don't you feel drained on foggy days? The bad news is that I can't go home yet, though. That's the crushing reality of a full-time employee. This is the same teacher who literally gave me her entire, what, is, what was it, $400 paycheck? Days like these, I just want to spend all day counting my money at home. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It's easy to count when you use a sequence of numbers with a common difference. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Numbers with ge geometric progression are more difficult to count by. Here's a sequence that's even harder to count by. Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. You, Kuhn, can you answer this? I've heard, I've seen that sequence before. I forget. I think it, uh... Oh man, that's I, I I I remember this in school. I do remember learning this actually. I think it's sequence of differences. I don't think there's a name for it. I'm just gonna say that. I don't remember. So it is Fibonacci sequence. Okay. That was like a really long time ago. I remember that. Very vaguely. <laughs> Uh, starting with zero, then one, then all of the others are the sum of two before them. I wouldn't dream of progress having my money grow in geometric progression, but at the very least, I can wish for a Fibonacci growth. Sorry that I'm getting off topic, but my husband is acting weird lately. Now that we're now that we've been fighting, but he's been going on about how the fog is poisonous. Ugh, I'm so depressed. Let's just continue the lecture. <laughs> I'm so depressed. Let me just continue the lecture then. Ugh. The fog will do that to you, man. The fog is, uh, well, interesting. I need to go to the roof. I still need to get this girl done. You heard something that might prove to be useful. You should report back to her admirer. Took me long enough. No, not Chie. Oh, finally getting that quest done. I think that's like one of the first quests in the beginning of the game. And I finally just got it done. Literally quest number two. <laughs> Guys, we got it. Finally. <laughs> wow! <laughs> the girl on the roof, what do you think she thinks of me? Well, there's nothing I can do but, cha but, but change myself. I already have a plan. Uh, I think she'll need an animal guide. If I give one to her as a apprentice, don't you think it'll score me some major points with her? But my problem is that I don't have the slightest clue of where I could get something like that. I'll check the TV. Fine, 
Finally! Oh, I had her thing too. Oops! Hell yeah! Look at all these quests! Oh my god, Pog! Charmed Veil. Okay. Damn! Look at me all getting all these quests done. Woo! I feel like I've gotten a lot of quests done, though. Wait. Demon statue. I have a demon statue. Where is this person? Wait a second. I'm confused. Oh, wait. Is it you that wants it? Oh, wait. You're hiding over here. Okay, well, I gave the teacher a thing. Maybe I just, like, missed it. Oops. Dang it. Oh, this, um... Oh, that reminds me! I kind of wanna, um, fucking... I got you on happy music, your affection, your affection, taking pride from fear past will tell you when to make yourself a hero, your affection, your affection, your affection past will tell you when to make yourself a hero. <laughs> Thank you so much for the hundred bits, I appreciate it. Wow, that's the song. Thank you for singing me the song, I appreciate it. Wait, uh, today's a Nato day, is it? Yeah, 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 today's a Nato day, but, um, let me just make some rounds real quick. Your affection! Your affection! <laughs> we'll just sing the song since it's not present. Well... What? Da? You can't make sense of what he's mumbling about? What the fuck? Rito? The murderer's name is Dorito. <laughs> it's even foggy in Okina City. We're not safe anywhere! I have a lot of money, so I'm just gonna fucking... else to spend my money on in this game. What else am I gonna spend my money on? Alright, I wanna buy Nanto outfits. Oh wait, they go for everybody. Dangerous briefs? swimming outfits separately. Oh my god. Why did I never buy these outfits sooner? What the hell is wrong with me? 
I have spent so much yen at this place just now. Holy fuck. I just, I, how much yen did I just spend? Like 400,000? Shit. Well, I bought everything. I have a girlfriend. This conversation is over. You got any friends to see it with? None of your business. Oh, come on, don't be a loner. Invite someone, anyone. I've had a lot of time on my hands since graduating college, but thanks to my friends, I've had plenty of fun. That's great, friends are nice. I have nothing to do every day since I graduated college, but I've been having fun, okay. Yeah, wow, you just tell him you have a girlfriend? We're done. Okay! Woo! Spicy conversations. Wow, okay, so I think that... Ooh! I'm keeping my thoughts to myself for now. I wonder if more people are, uh, going psychotic. Let's see if anybody else is, like, going crazy here. That guy be like, fuck that silver hair guy, he fuck. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Hollow. Appreciate it. Huh. Oh look, I got money back! This just keeps going. Keeps going. Okay. I've never really bought anything in this game. <laughs> Maybe I should get some stuff. Honestly, this isn't much better than what I had. I mean, it still helps. Eh, it's whatever. Boop, boop, boop. Me thriving? Oh, thank you. I don't know what you mean by that, but thanks. Oh, forever. Wait, was that a, a book called Forever Macho? Forever Macho. Hmm. Sounds like a book I want to read. All right, I need an understanding book, I think. Um, I'll read the final lesson. Shen is here, Shen's the best. And you should follow her if you're not already. Oh, I don't have, I don't, <laughs> I don't have, I don't ever look at my viewer count. So, hey, thanks for hanging out and watching me play a video game, chat, well. <laughs> You guys are so cool. Oh, I need to go to the floodplain really quick. I need to see if that guy... I need to talk to him about cats. I'm proud of you. Oh! You're the cutest, Shen. I love you. Oh. This guy. Talk to him about cats. How many times do I need to fucking... I need to do you know what I'm just gonna keep feeding this cat maybe I need to feed this cat or something this cat oh my god bruh 
Or, sorry, I'm disgusting. All right. <laughs> what was I doing? Hanging out with Naoto, right? We got really distracted today. Naoto. Aw, thank you for the kind words, Cupid Fox. I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying the videos so much. It really means a lot. Because I try to... I work as hard as I can on them, so... Thank you guys for being kind and enjoying my content. Even whenever I think it's shit. <laughs> I appreciate it. Not though! Yeah. No, you're awesome, Tubalroom. And everybody. Alright, Naoto, let's solve your thing. Naoto brought a new challenge from the from the Phantom Thief. This was in my mailbox this morning. The Phantom Thief knows where I live. Which means he had other reasons for having you deliver the first card. Why you, though? Because we looked close. Huh? What are you saying? That can't be it! Don't blurt out such ridiculous nonsense! Nato is panicking fiercely. <laughs> so then, what do you think of the contents of this card? The card reads as follows. When the banks close, the fruit tree grows by the large seven at the third in the spot I chose. Um, yo, Voro, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. More cryptic this time. Well, I anticipated that. The first thing that comes to mind with fruit tree is the original card. But the second sentence... By the seven at the third, what do you what do these numerical values mean? When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. By the large seven at the third in the, is the spot I chose. I'm very not I like I like solving puzzles, but like my weakest Part of my brain is like word type riddles. I can't like word type riddles are my the bane of my existence. By the large seven at the third is a spot I chose. I'm glad you are enjoying that Odo as much as I do. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kiramata. I appreciate the two months. Thank you. By the large seven. I don't think it's phrasing, so phrasing... And I, I don't think it would be a time. I don't think time has anything to do with it. So let's just say the numbers are important? That just seems like... like let's say that. The numbers themselves. The seven and the third. Oh! Okay! When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. Look at the third and seventh words. Oh! Banks and tree. In other words, by the large tree at the banks is the spot I chose. Anyway, let's search for the biggest tree at this river's banks. Damn! There was something buried by the tree you found. I knew it. This watch brings back memories. Nato holds a digital watch, slightly large for a child's wrist. <laughs> this is pretty advanced, you know. It's one of the seven tools of the detective. It has an extremely strong backlight. You can use it to blind the enemy. I modified it whenever I was a child. What the fuck, Naoto is badass? I've always loved this sort of thing ever since childhood. I preferred robots and cars to dolls and teddy bears. I liked high places, so I had a secret base in the trees. I enjoyed that. <laughs> She's so cool. Why? Why couldn't I have been born male? It would have been much easier for me. I could have done what I wanted to with gusto. It's funny, isn't it? Your gender don't matter. Senpai. Now that I have people who say that to me, what right have I to complain? Aww. Really, it's quite difficult to keep my composure when you're around. I feel like I'm being lectured, like I'm still a child. Oh, <laughs> That was so cute. Invigorate too. Woo! 
It seems they've been doing all the talking. Why don't you tell me about yourself? What were you like as a child? I wish I could have seen it. Oh? I'll see you again. You wish you could have seen me as a baby? Oh. <laughs> uh. uh. Chat, it's okay. We got new game plus. New game plus. Naruto romance. <laughs> How many days on my fucking... Oh, my veggies are gonna be good tomorrow. Okay. Um... Guess we see who's available. Crystal baby pics? I actually do have baby pics that I could share, but I don't think you guys want to see that. <laughs> I could share... Oh my god, I shared, um... No, I... Sh Nobody cares. <laughs> oh. Alright, Rise, uh... It's, uh, who else? Let's see who else. More like you don't want us to say- Oh no, I don't mind sharing. I'm shameless, dude. <laughs> uh, I- I don't know. I have, um... I- I could show you a video. I shared it with Shen. <laughs> like, baby crystal freaking out over Pokemon 3. <laughs> Uh, my mom has my mom recorded like everything growing up she has so many tapes of me growing up and she's like digitalizing all of them now she's going through all the process of taking all of the tape recordings and putting them on um like on a flash drive and like sending me them she sent me the cutest video of me eight years old freaking the fuck out over fucking pokemon 3 being out on vhs i would I got it as a gift for Easter, and it's just a video of me freaking out. I could share it, but I don't know if you guys actually want to see that. <laughs> Alright, I think... Risei or Kanji? Kanji's good. Um, and I think Risei's also good to rank up. Yeah, the movie. I'm talking about Pokemon 3, the movie. <laughs> Okay, I'll- uh, alright, we're just gonna show it for like, a second, okay? It's- it's a short video. <laughs> Hold on, I just gotta... F get it. It'll take a second. Alright. <laughs> Don't make fun of me! This is a really, really, really old video, okay chat? This is Baby Crystal. I was eight years old. Okay. I tweeted it out. This is like a year ago. But I guess I can share it with you guys, okay? This is... Uh, this, you can literally look at the date here. It says March 31st, 2002. I was eight. <laughs> okay. I also don't have my two front teeth. <laughs> It's like I never grew up. 
Okay, anyway, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's baby crystal. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> oh. And also that Easter, besides getting Pokemon 3 on VHS and a Pikachu movie on VHS, I also got, you know, like those cool, um, this makes me feel old. Whenever you had a portable fucking, uh, uh, your Game Boy Advance and your Game Boy, they didn't have backlights at the time, so my mom got me one of those, like, uh, book lights that you attach to your, uh, to your Game Boy Advance so you can play it in the dark. That was the best gift I ever got. The best. So I was able to play at night. Hell yeah. I also got that for that Easter. <laughs> I was not Nanako, no. I was... That's eight-year-old Crystal, but that was... The, I was definitely nowhere close to Nanako. No, I, I can't. <laughs> All right, I think I should hang out with uh, Rise. Finally. Senpai. People have comments like, what band is this and when's their next gig? Maybe it's a shame we were only doing it for one day. Hey, Senpai, why don't we play a secret show next time? Uh... Sure! Let's do it! Jiryu! Well, nerdy, baby crystal. Huh? Pokemon 3. <laughs> Thank you for the 17 months, I appreciate crystal, you it. Crystal, a milestone in your viewer count. Oh. I'm glad you let me join you in this journey <laughs> almost from the very beginning. It's been a hell of a trip getting here, though. Thank you again for the many memories we shared together. Oh my god, Rise. Thank you so much for the 666 donation. I really appreciate it. And for the kind words. You guys are the best. Thank you for putting up with my shit. <laughs> and enjoying my content and watching it. I really appreciate it. If I wear Teddy's costume, maybe people won't know it's Rizette. Oh god, that sounds like a bad idea. I was... I don't know about you guys, but I was, you know, I really liked Pokemon 3 growing up. <laughs> I remember. I want you to have it, senpai. I remember a lot of evenings I had. I think ever since I got Pokemon Three on VHS that Easter, I remember watching it like once a week. I watched it so often. I was obsessed with it. Such a good movie. Good night, senpai. <laughs> yeah, the first three movies on VHS. Same, bro. Same. It's good shit. It's good shit. The old Japanese calendar had different names for the months. September was Nagatsuki, and October was Kanazuki. This weather feels like all the gods have gone away and left us since the last month. This fog is just nasty, isn't it? It's like being wrapped up in gauze like an Egyptian mummy or something. Of course, it would, if my house was as nice as one of the ancient pyramids, I probably wouldn't complain about it as much. But mummies are already dead, so they don't have anything to worry about. You, however, have tests coming up. And if you failed the last exams, you have even more cause for concern. I don't want to see you haunting these halls. Ugh. Yeah, third movie is the Entei one. <laughs> is good. I think it was my favorite because uh, Suicune, or however you say that legendary Pokemon, that was my favorite Pokemon. And it was in that movie, so that's why I really liked it a lot. <laughs> There are over 130 ancient pyramids in Egypt, but do you know who's buried in the biggest one? Um, I'm gonna choose this one, because it looks funnier. Nope, where did you hear that? The Great Pyramid is the tome of the Pharaoh Khufu, who, uh, also known as Cheops. Okay. Took over 20 years to build and was the tallest man-made structure in the world for almost four millennia. Oh, okay, I gotta remember that. It's gonna be on next week's test. We should have a uh, Pokemon 3 watch party in Discord sometime. Was it your favorite because it was featured in Pokemon Crystal? No, totally not. Oh, senpai. Psh, no. Why, why would you think that? B -b -baka. Are you gonna be doing anything after school today? Um, no, I don't wanna hang out with Risei. Actually, I probably will hang out with Risei, not gonna lie. Good day. Oh, <gasps> Nato! I might actually hang out with Nato, oh. if Nato can rank up. <laughs> Lu 
Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie. Yo, the Pokemon movies are all dope, okay? They're good. <laughs> That's literally me. Oh, I might hang out with Risei today. Oh, not though! Story of my life, man. Wait, Hanako, I suppose. To, wait. Um, do you mean Yosuke? Huh? Wait, Hanako's talking about Naoto? What's the story behind your name? Um, I'll try to. Long story short, um, I have a BFA degree in uh, theater and dance. That's what I went to school for. And, um,. Whenever I joined the theater department at my college, at my university, the technical director gives people names that aren't their name. And mine was actually like close to my name, obviously my name is Crystal. So he was like, basically when you join the theater program, the technical director of the program just gives you a random name. It's just like a shtick that, you know, more theater kids were weird. It's just shticks. And he looked at me and he was like, your name is Crystal, because you just seem really cool. And then, I guess I can share the picture. Um, and then I went to my desk one morning and he did this to my desk. He wanted me to know exactly how he was saying my name, so he did this to my desk. That's the origin of my name. So basically, I'm, I'm a living lie because uh, my name is supposed to have three A's and three H's but I actually made it two A's and two H's. So I'm lying to you all. This is how my name is supposed to be. Crystal. <laughs> I've been lying to you this whole time. <laughs> That's where my name comes from. It's just, I just kept it ever since college because I really liked the, the ring that it had. Senpai. There's something I want you to see. Oh! <gasps> Nato or Rise, Nato or Rise, Nato or Rise. I feel like I don't have a lot of chances to spend with Rise, actually. Maybe I should actually hang with Rise. Man, imagine choosing Rise over Nato, though. It doesn't seem like Rise is available that often. And Nato is often, like, very often available, so maybe. Ah, fuck. Uh, Chad, I'm gonna go with Rise, just because I don't have... I, 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 I like, never see her here. I'm sorry, Nato, uh -huh. please forgive me. <laughs> please. First, I'm being exposed for having a name that's not actually my name, and now this. Okay. Fog has enveloped the area. When I first got, got to town, I used to sit here and do nothing. I would just listen to the sound of the river, the sound of the birds, and the sound of the rain. I felt I could forget Rizette and find myself that way. But... Senpai, have you ever thought that pushing yourself too far, or that you were just acting? Sometimes. Oh. I see, but I guess that makes sense. No one can be their normal self all the time, huh? I feel like I've been able to relax ever after coming to Inaba. Meeting all of you, laughing together, watching the store, reading comics, playing with the cat. When I was at my parents' house, I was on my best behavior around them. Oh, but Gram Grandma doesn't ask me anything. You know, like when, why I quit or why I'm thinking of what I'm thinking of doing next? She just talks about tofu. She says, I'm like tofu. I had to ask her what that meant. The way she explained it, tofu looks weak and fragile, but it's actually pretty resilient. Even though it stands out because it's not like any other food, it can be mixed in with any recipe or flavor. Tofu's incredible. I'm nothing like that. I... I was actually bullied at school before I made my debut. I wasn't good at talking and always looked at my feet. I was alone the entire time, but I didn't have a problem with that. No one expected anything of me. And then, the application my relative sent without telling me passed the first audition. I wasn't interested in being an idol, but I wanted the chance to change myself. And just my chance, I won. Just by chance, I won. 
and when it happened, I panicked, thinking maybe I should turn their offer down. Then I thought, if I appeared on TV, I could make friends. That was literally the only reason I went through with it. After a while, I realized something. The person everyone likes, the one they say hi to on the street, that's not the real me. Rizette is the one everybody likes, the fictional character they sold the, that, uh, they sold the public. It's the same with you, isn't it? You don't have to deny it. I won't be mad. You're with me right now because I'm Rizette, right? Yeah? Uh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> that wasn't a fair question, but I'm happy you said so. <laughs> when I got back to school after my debut, no one bullied me. I was happy at first with people I didn't even know talking to me, but they, they weren't suddenly interested in Risei Kujikawa. They wanted to hang out with Risei, Rizet. The bullying stopped, but I felt like none of them saw the real me. In my heart, I've always thought, this isn't the real me. Funny, huh? I was the one who wanted to change, and... None of that matters now. I'm done being Rizet. Now I have people who know the real me. Plus, I have power that can help everyone. I love that. This time, I'm gonna change into a Risei that everyone can like. Keep an eye out for her, senpai. I guess that was cute. Healing wave. I'll see you later. Her skills, man. She's not my fave, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of her myself. Oh, I can work as a janitor tonight. <laughs> she's a layered character when she's not thirsty. Oh boy. Hell yeah, growing that crack wheat. We got veggies. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess we go out, see who's available tonight. I know, I love that about Persona games in general. It amazes me how it, it differs with people's like favorite person, like everybody's favorite character. Like if I asked you guys your favorite character in this game, like I, I bet you, like, everybody would say different characters. It's... It's really, really great. That's when you know it's a fucking good game, man. When everybody just has, like, different characters that they spew as their favorites. Like, look at all the different names. Look at all that. Look at all that. Igor! <laughs> so, yeah, like... That's a good game! Oh, a Marie in there. That's nice to see. Yeah, that's so cool. Like, even with P5, like everybody has different characters. It's, it's so cool. <laughs> Funky student. Oh, oh, Yosuke. Oh, I said I would hang out with him, didn't I? Okay, I can't blow off Yosuke anymore. <laughs> Huh? All right, all right, all right. Spending the evening with Yosuke. Right. <sighs> Word about the cross-dressing pageant spread further than I thought. I've been an utter laughing stock. This sucks. It's all their fault, you know. Uh, be confident in yourself. That's cool, I guess. Wow, Yosuke, I'm trying. <sighs> What's with that heart of steel? It's nothing- it's something else. No, really. Yosuke is impressed. Oh, he liked that answer. Well, they did have to go through the beauty pageant, so I can't be too mad at them. Oh yeah, did you hear? After the beauty pageant, Team Nato. What? It just ends there? Huh? 
you can have this. Oh, thanks, Yosuke. I appreciate it. Night. You can't blow up Yosuke. Oh, come on! I didn't mean it like that! <laughs> come on, Chad! <sighs> Hate you guys! How many days do we have to wait? Holy crap! Hey, don't you think that there are more and more people getting weird because of the fog? I even see people wearing those huge gas masks, masks around town. Yeah, and people are getting sick too. Haven't there been people saying a lot of weird stuff lately? Like the world is ending and that global warming is because of original sin, nutty stuff like that? Hey, what do you think someone thinks gonna happen? Wait, what do you think is going to happen if you think someone's sick but you don't do anything about it? I mean, to be honest, yesterday my dad, oh boy. Good morning, what's up you guys? Are you exhausted from studying for the test around the corner? I hope you're not forgetting something. Christmas is coming up in a month. Have you found your dates yet? Ah, I've got mine already. Tell you what, I'll give you guys a Christmas question. All right, I'll ask a question regarding cakes. Narukami. Cakes? Which of these is considered a rice cake? Um, wait, I should know this. I feel like... Is Moki considered a rice cake? Senbei? Uh... I, I, I know it's not a dongo. I know for a fact. But I think it's... I want to say M Moki. Oh, <gasps> cool! But something pounded together is also called a cake. Oh. That's the case with Moki, as it's rice pounded together. I actually don't know if it's pronounced Moki or Mochi. I have a s- I, Is it Moki or Mochi, chat? I actually don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Oh, I love the Dongo song, too. It's good. Oh, it's Mochi? Mochi. Oh, Mochi. Okay, thank you. I should know how to actually pronounce that. <laughs> As another example, kamaboko is a fish cake. Fish meat pounded together. Twitch chat is a cake. Ooh, ooh. However, you probably don't want to be eating fish cakes on Christmas night. No, I gotta go get my KFC chicken bucket. Because that's a thing. <laughs> Alright, still got more days to spend, I guess. Yosuke! Alright, Hanako. Prince of Juness. Are you talking about Nato? Huh? Seems you were mistaken. What? I gave you all three options! You better not be talking about me, Hanako. What if she's talking about me? All right, Nato's available. Risei's also available. Well, that's weird. Okay. Um. Well, Nato. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Nato seems to be thinking about something. To tell you the truth, I haven't been in contact with Grandpa lately. I wanted to confirm the items I assume the Phantom Thief stole, but our secretary Yakushiji-san passed along a message, saying he went to visit an ailing friend in America. Since then, I haven't been able to reach either Grandpa or Yakushiji-san's cell phone. Well, there's no point in worrying about them now. I'm sure they're fine. On to business. I received a new challenge in the mail today. The card reads as follows. Jury to not rest or route for fable minus 40 minus four. The sentence as written is gibberish. Is this part of the riddle? And this minus 40 minus four, on its own it means nothing. Perhaps the minus part is important.
my brain. <laughs> um. I'm not very five head when it comes to word riddles puzzles uh um uh these two answers are similar so I'm just going to go with the middle one just because it's different like either that or um Minus 40, minus 4. Like, my first instinct would be like, oh, subtract them, but that just seems, like, too simple. Check the other cards. No. No, it wouldn't be the other cards because those have already been solved. Maybe. Fuck, man. Let's just go with the seemingly obvious one. Huh? Subtract 40. Subtract 40 from the sentence. Wait, what? Jury did not rest or root for fable. From there you subtract 40 and 4. Notice the unnatural comma in the phrase. It responds to the two numbers. Subtract the letters in 40 from the first part and the ones in 4 from the second. What remains is Juness table. What? The fuck? Let's go. Where do you get that? I... Okay. Jeunesse food court. <laughs> there is something taped to the underside of the table. I knew it was here. Nato produces a large ballpoint pen. This is another of the seven detective tools I made. You can use it as a normal pen, but it also has a pen light and a miniature telescope. I thought I had lost this. I didn't think Grandpa still had it. <laughs> Neither my Grandpa nor myself can stand to throw, these, throw things away. When this pen was still mine, I was a child, just a child, dreaming of becoming a detective. But being a man or a woman, I never thought about it. The lack of peers to compare myself to might have contributed to that. I had no friends. I was quite the outsider then, too. But why is it that, compared to the time I spent utterly alone, I worry more now than that I'm with you and the others? I feel that I'm undergoing a change. You'll still be you. I know, I can't become anyone but myself, but I... The need to change and the desire to remain the same, they're mixed together, and it scares me. She would show you this side of her must be a sign that she has opened her heart to you. <laughs> Nato looks small. They really did say that. Yusan, have you ever felt like that before? I <laughs> want to hear about you. I'll see you again. My brain is in such a rot, man. Like, you know it's bad when literally you just refer every conversation to this same singular person that I think about all the time. Like, it's sad. I need help. Krista T. <laughs> <laughs> It's bad. Welcome home, big bro. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> Naoki. Tutoring. 
tutoring job? Oh fuck, I don't even have the tutoring job. Shit. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go home and read a book. Let's get that understanding to Max. <laughs> yeah. There, I can read this one real fast. Oops. The story is about a weak willed milk toast of a teacher who has a hard time getting his students to learn. Oh! <gasps> I can get that tutoring job now. Oh! <gasps> really? Yo! Chet! So, um, um, yeah, we can do the, the dog. Sorry, on a side note, sorry, our, we just got mail. Our rice cooker, so Dom and I finally ordered a rice cooker in the mail, and guess what the first thing I'm gonna make in that rice cooker is? Not rice. I'm making myself some pancakes. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. Oh, it's Sunday. Yeah. Why are you making pancakes in a rice cooker? Google Japanese pancakes. Ten anime betrayals, man. <laughs> cancel Tanaka. Oh, I can never cancel Tanaka. Oh, I can do the dog. I have enough understanding to to wait for the dog now. Pog. Oh, hey, Reese. I can do the dog. Okay, look. <laughs> Stop making. Oh, hi, girlfriend. Yo. I feel bad denying a visit to go see Nanako. Woof. The dog noticed you but got surprised and ran away. I needed max understanding for that. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck? Oh, not though. Hello. Are you going to the hospital today? We'll come with you. We're worried about you, too. Oh, now I really want to go visit non uh, Nanako. Oh. Uh. 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 
It keeps saying Merble. I don't actually know what that means. I, I, I think I need to give it the right thing. And then there's this guy, which I don't understand. Maybe I need to fish or something. Okay, we're gonna go hang out with Hisano. <laughs> I gotta hang out with Hi. Death Chan. Yes. <sighs> I was lying to you. What? I'm not really death. I did wish that he would die, and so he died for me. That's what I wanted to think. I thought maybe that would be proof that he still loves me. I didn't want to accept that he had died all by himself, not remembering me, leaving me behind. <laughs> Do you have someone who you hold dear yourself? But the truth is, I, I don't have, have any special, any special powers. powers like that. I am not death, just another boring human being. Oh, you're far from boring, Hasano. Waiting for a miracle that never came. Before I knew it, I was wishing death on the one person I loved most in the world. I was lonely, forgotten, and. Loving, being loved, all that is what goes into making us human. Or lack thereof. Even if he did forget me in the end, the lives we spent together were proof of our dedication to each other. His love for me was never a lie. All those letters are proof. I just didn't get it. <laughs> but it's too late now, isn't it? No. Perhaps you're right. I think I'll try living as the Hisano he loved once more. One more rank with Granny. The man I loved is gone. I can't ignore that fact any longer. I need to face the truth head on. I want to see you again. Feelings, man. They suck. Hmm. Yukiko. My girlfriend. All right, Yukiko. Good e On my way back from an errand, but it was so cold that I stopped for something warm to drink. Would you like to join me? When we did that concert at Juness, one of our staff happened to be there to see it. I was surprised because she brought up my- she brought it up by saying that we looked very cool out of the blue. I was a little embarrassed, but happy too. After all, we practiced so hard. 
My only regret is that I didn't get to stage dive. <laughs> Save it for next time. Yes. I'll make sure to practice diving into crowds until then. Uh, 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 no. What? <laughs> the same staff are even suggested we play our next show at the Amagi Inn. Oh, it might be fun to do one in the party room. Oh, we could do some magic tricks for the opening act and... Okay, Yukiko. We'll just... We'll practice diving into crowds. <laughs> yep. That's a... It's, where do you even practice something like that? I... I want I, you to have this. I don't even know. Good night. Good night. The second term finals begin today. No finals! Fuck! Yo! Look at this weather, man. What's up with this? It's really weird. Have you ever heard of anything like this before? Oh yeah, finals start today, but that's seriously not the point now. What's gonna happen? I'm worried. I thought that stuff about the fog being harmful to people was just a rumor, but people are getting sick. And even besides that, there have been a lot of weird rumors being spread around, too. Damn, I don't like how any of this feels. Alright, time to be top of the class! <laughs> Finals day one. What does French food stem from? I don't remember this! Italian. No, isn't it Japanese? No, fuck. Japanese! Nope, okay, fuck. What does the figure in figure skating refer to? I, I got this one right. Isn't it geometric shapes? Woo! Fifty percent on day one. Who is buried in the biggest thing of- uh, Khufu. What is a book of maps called? Okay, this was an easy day. Easy. Uh... Uh... Okay. There's no way we can keep the club going like this. No, too many of our members are calling in sick. When is this damn fog gonna clear up? But Senpai, the people who are just slacking off aren't showing up either, right? You can keep the club with the members you're left with. Maybe the fog helped you find out who's the most dedicated to being in the club. Huh? Well, that's one way of looking at it. Like, what the fuck kind of psychotic bitch are you? What? Finals day three. What word has the words bridal as its roots? Bridal. What kind of bird is a Kanko Dory? Oh, fuck me. Isn't it a cuckoo? I got this one wrong. I think it's a cuckoo, though. Woo! Ah! Okay, so far only one wrong. We're doing okay. What country does the South Pole belong to? No country. This is the Fibonacci sequence. All we got was the first one wrong. Hey, did you hear what they say happened on the Midnight Channel? Someone said they turned it on and there was a picture of this town in complete ruins. Oh. Oh. What a time to give 10 subs! Holy 
shit! Oh my god! I don't know whether to pog or to... Be scared. <laughs> I have a mix of emotions. Oh, thank you, Dom. I appreciate it. Bird Berries, thank you so much for gifting 10 subs to the community. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Dom. You're the best. Woo! Huh? My friend said that she saw Inaba get swallowed by the fog and sent into another... into some other dimension. The whole town is gonna get sucked into the TV? How does that happen? She said there were monsters coming out of the fog too, like in that story. Have you noticed ever since the fog started, it seemed that some people can see the midnight channel even when it's not raining. Could it be, is our town getting more and more messed up? No, chat's not being stupid. We just, it's, so, it, I think it's requested to go in emote only for the next plot, I guess. Wait, there's more finals? What desert is the well witch you have found in? Namib. I think I remember that one. I'm so smart! Which of these is considered a rice cake? Mochi. Mochi. I only got one wrong! I'm poggers, dude! Man, this fog just won't quit. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. But what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, senpai? Chad, what are you doing? <laughs> Chance, you lost it. You're going bonkers. Are you guys feeling okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting 10 subs, Omega. I really appreciate it. Aw. Thank you guys for the generosity. I really appreciate it a lot. Oh, I hope everybody who's getting gifted subs enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much. Oh, this girl never changes. Risei's never gonna change, man. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. What? G guys, put on your glasses! When you put your glasses on, your vision becomes much clearer. Whoa, it's all clear. Speaking of, where has Teddy been? I feel like we haven't seen Teddy in a long time. What the hell's going on? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. Not that I'm complaining, but... But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Then, um... Could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? Huh? Well, you, you guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. It's, it's just a thought. <laughs> The mood darkens. Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Let's get them over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. Wow, we haven't used that name in a while. Ah, what's happening? It's the last day of the exams. You feel confident about your answers. Fuck yeah, dude. Yo! Rosetta, thank you for gifting us up to Ryder! I appreciate it. Seriously, thank you so much for being really kind, chat. It really means a lot. 
There will be dramatic turns in the story from this point. It is strongly recommended that you take this opportunity to save. Ah! Oh boy! It's happening! Okay. Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um... Some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist of harmful substances. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Huh, <sighs> is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here. Teddy's either. here? Wait, Teddy's right there. Where has he been this whole time? Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. He's like... For some reason, he's really quiet. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. Oh, I want to hear about the fucking interrogation! The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Konishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. There is none! In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. Damn. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? They can't... They can't prove anything. I'm sure your uncle can. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Which they don't have. Yes. There are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? It's a possibility. Hell's up with that! We all know he did it! You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets! They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki-senpai. No, not just her, or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's his fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, too. You've reminded that you made a promise with Nanako to buy a new Kotatsu! Oh no! What's the matter? You sold the others about your promise with Nanako. A Kotatsu? Yeah! Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? Let's go buy a Kotatsu! I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Kotatsu! Yeah! Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock! Alright, off to the houseware section for Nanako-chan! Go get her a working Kotatsu. Let's get the best one. I have a lot of money. If we're getting a Kotatsu, we better get some oranges to complete the set. It's a cliche because it's true, damn it. <laughs> the best compliment to a Kotatsu would be a heated rug. Yeah, get a nice Dude, one. that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. Oh yeah, you've never used a Kotatsu before, huh, Ted? 
It's nice and toasty. Can I still stay here? What? You kept your promise to me. Oh. So I should be going back. But I don't want to go until Nana-chan gets better. Of course you can stay. Oh. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But I couldn't save Nana-chan. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys... Sensei, I'm so touched. I'll stay by your side until Nana-chan comes home, Sensei. Oh, that's right. There's no one but you at your place. Hey, why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? Aw, uh, yeah! Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke <laughs> stuff this time. Seriously. We're clear on this, right? <laughs> Yosuke's broke! Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. <laughs> How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Yeah, do something about it. Ugh. Yeah, Yosuke. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. Uh, what? What did you just say? Whoa! Quit throwing shade at my girl! Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Oh, uh, Teddy's back. Stay, Stay out, out of this! <laughs> Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. What would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? A Jack Frost doll. Yeah, that, that white round shape's the best. I just so happen to have to one. Go. All right, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes! And we'll bake the cake! Of course! Can we not have them bake a cake? Please? Let's make it a cake to remember! Oh god! We've had so many near-death experiences in this game. More from their cooking than actually battling for our lives in the TV. Oh, no, you're not! Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? Pee pee pee! It's Adachi? Hello, this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Hey, what? Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. What? The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Come on, let's go! Dojima is listening to an explanation from the doctor. They have found loud voices throughout the hospital for some time now. Doctor! This fog is poisonous, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? They said so on TV! Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down! You're lying! We know you have medicine for this! Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. Dojima-san, you need to return to your... 
I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. <clears throat> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. Nanako. Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, but... Damn it. What does this have to happen to a little girl like her? Uh... Why'd it turn out like this? Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? You guys still here? How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. He's gonna say something's up with Namatame's health. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. Oh, never mind. Do they just not have enough evidence? What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something about him having an alibi. Yeah! Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs. There's no way that'll stand up in court. Yeah. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. He didn't! I'm so fucking pissed at my whole group of friends right now that we're not- they're not picking this shit up. Like, they- they- they're so convinced that he's the guy. Not though! You should know better! And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? Come on! Like, there's a lot of things not right. Come on, brains! I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? Oh, man. Gabcart, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. You want to see that stuff so bad? We'll show you. Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! Hey, stop! What the? Is Nanako-chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. What the hell? What's going on? No. Nanako-chan... <laughs> Nanako-chan, Nanako-chan, can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. <laughs> Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. How's Nanako? Doctor.
Nanako! Nanako! I'm sorry, sir. Nana Chihan. We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Dojima-san, what's with that look? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanaka-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec, that's the way to... in the case what are you getting mad at me for this is the biggest hospital and he's in no condition to be moved in case something like this happened the details of a suspect's hospitalization are confidential information just tell us where he is already <sighs> dojima son's on his way ain't he you don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him! Kanji-kun, you don't mean... Yeah, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up! Where's this room? <clears throat> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. I was always watching over Nana-chan, and I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only Teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... <laughs> Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Like we said, without permission. Permission? Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... She's all I have! She's... I, the only one in the world. Stop, don't you move. Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room. I'll go alert the doctors. Jima-san, was he seriously gonna... <sighs> Is 
His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima-san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai. And now Nanako-chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right. Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? <laughs> I... I was scared, so... I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom, too?! It's your fault that Nanako Jones... I... I didn't... I... Twelve o'clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this... I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got, got in my way. way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. Thank you, Naruto. God damn it. What? I failed. But it, it wasn't, wasn't my, my fault. fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Then he wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law. I won't ever forgive what you did. This... Please, stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. No. Well, do you want us to do something? <gasps> something fitting for a bastard like you? K Kanji. <sighs> do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you... You're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mission? My God. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I... I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large television. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. Y you don't mean... Are you... serious? You're just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... Wh what's gotten into you guys? This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Cheer! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. 
If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's... But... but... Yosuke... All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. J just p push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? to wait if we don't do this now the cops will come back what are you trying to say something we don't know what don't we know calm down true feelings on TV what didn't you understand well what is it I already told you there's no time to waste are you even getting at something here or are you just stalling Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Dude, I'm yelling at you. Calm the fuck down. Oh, God, I don't. Calm the fuck down, bro. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. After what happened to Nanako-chan, and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. <sighs> You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. Thank you, you fox! I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. Yes! That's what I've been trying to get to this whole fucking time! Nobody will listen to me! There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. 
I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But... Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. Duh. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. Yosuke, I'm gonna slap you across the face. How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. <laughs> Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. Nato, yes! Please keep talking! We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. Jeez, how the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. The case has taken a sharp turn and the investigation is now one step closer to the truth. We just got Loki. Keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation. And their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. Why? Why? So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. <sighs> so what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? 
Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? Do you see where this doesn't make sense? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. Or maybe he got a taste of fucking fog. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. I'm starting to think the fog is what caused his Namatame and his episode. wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh... I don't really get any of this. Oh, this is so confusing! Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. Huh? What's going on? What are you waiting for? Where am I? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. That's right, Nana-chan. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. <laughs> That's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guys! Sensei! What should I do? Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Huh? What did you just say? God, I hate this game. You fucks. <laughs> Nanako-chan's alive? You piece of shit. Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. Nanako, Naru calmly shouts, running to his sister's side. They grow, she utters weakly. I live the ch <laughs> Thank you for the hundred bits, I appreciate it. You fucking shit. Fuck this game, man. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! Ah! <laughs> Thank you so much.
so much for gifting 25 fucking subs, dude. That is insane. I don't know what I did deserve that, but that's insane support. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. for gifting 20 subs dj thank you so much for gifting 10 subs um also uh um i'm missing earlier stuff too rob gifted a sub a, a bit ago pricey thank you so much for the 100 bits finny thank you so much for the twitch prime cars thank you so much for the three month twitch prime what is happening oh my fucking god we just unlocked a new emote slot <laughs> Chad, what are you doing? <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what is happening? The range of emotions I've been feeling in the past 10 minutes alone. Holy fuck. Chat. Dude, we're gonna unlock a second emote slot. Jesus Christ. You guys are nuts! Holy shit! Neo! Neo, thank you so much for gifting 10 subs, dude! Bread, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Dan, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Toma, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Dude, Sophronia, thank you so much for the 50... For the... 5,000 bits. Oh my god, this is insane. Reji, th thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Burnt, thank you so much for gifting 10 subs. <sighs> Holy fuck, Chad. What is happening? You guys are still going! Oh my fucking god. God. What did I do? I don't understand.
I'll try to catch up. Oh my god. Seriously, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I don't know what's happening, but thank you. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? But just thank you guys so much. <laughs> like I really, really appreciate all that support. It means a lot. Oh my god, dude, we unlocked a second emote slot. You guys are fucking nuts. I literally like, I literally cannot fathom what's happening right now. to catch up holy crap thank you thank you guys so much i really like you guys don't have to i genuinely hope that you guys know that you don't have to do this amount of support like i just want you guys to watch the stream and enjoy it you don't have to go and do all of this you really don't Dude. I love you, Ooh. I'm so proud of you. You deserve IT. Jesus. Let me get in on this what high the train. Fuck. <laughs> God. I can't even catch up anymore. I'm gonna catch up. Until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. I'm trying to figure out what's happening. Shen! I didn't even see- Oh my god, Shen! Not you too! Thank you for giving- for a hundred dollar donation, Jesus Christ! Let me try to catch up for a second. I want to stop crying like a little bitch, man. God. <laughs> Bird, thank you for the 10 gifted. Zenny for the Twitch Prime. Emma for the 10 bits. Deck for the 5 gifted subs. Killer with the Twitch Prime. Leon with the Twitch Prime. That guy for the 100 bits. Rizo for the 5 gifted. Soul, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Carol for the 5 gifted subs. Scarlet for the one uh, for the tier 2 sub. And this is why we watch. Your dedication to these stories is incredible. Well, oh. watch forever more. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I just like playing video games, man. <laughs> I like getting into stories. That's all I like doing. I just like getting into the stories. <laughs> Tier two uh, sub Scarlet. Seriously, I really appreciate that. Josh, thank you for the hundred bits. Switch with the Twitch Prime. Are you with the five gifted subs? Um, 
uh, Geralt for the Twitch Prime, Sonic for the Twitch Prime, Moloch for the five gifted subs, Bread for the five gifted subs, Kiri for the hundred bits, Aaron for the tier one sub, Fumble for the 400 bits, Wise, Wise for the Twitch Prime, oh my god. Holy fucking shit, I hope you like seeing a catchy's face as much as I do. <laughs> uh. <coughs> Chaos for the 500 bits. Shen for the 30... 100... 30... I can't even talk anymore. 3,000 bits. Scat for the bit. Omega... Omega gifting 50 subs. Holy shit. I'm just... just I, oh, God. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's <laughs> trying desperately to stay alive. You left me a small message I, in Discord. Found you on YouTube first time. Oh. D. Oh, thank you so much. I really, I, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely really happy that you guys are enjoying the, the, the YouTube content. It means a lot. It really, really does. Whew. Omega, thank you for gifting 50 fucking subs, dude. That's insane. Cat, for the, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Poncho, thank you so much for the. For the sub, Kiri for the 200 bits, run with the gifting a sub, thank you. Um, Neon for the 50 bits, play for the 100, Darl for the bit, Jamie for the uh, tier one sub, thank you. Dawes for the 100 bits, Aaron for the 10 bits, Anonymous Cheer for the 250 bits, Pricey for the 100, Scat for the bit, Chaos for the five gifted subs, Rob for the 100 bits, SW for the two bits, Kazune for the hundred, Mega for the fifteen, and Josh for the hundred. I'm caught up. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, Toma. <laughs> thank you for the 50 bits and Josh for the 100 bits. Seriously, thank you, chat, so much. Holy shit. I have never seen this amount of support on my channel before. This is, like, insane. This is insane. Thank you. Zulo, thank you for the 37 month resub. I really appreciate it. I need to breathe for a second. <laughs> Chat be like Nanako feels aren't enough. <laughs> here's some here's here's more feelings. <laughs> myself together. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred bits, Jaunt for the tier one sub, and Carol for the uh, for the tier one sub as well. Dude, half of you people! Oh my god, half of you guys gifting subs are gifting subs before even like subbing yourselves. <laughs> yeah. You guys are really kind. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. 
that says more about you than it does about me. <laughs> Can tell you that much. <laughs> I feel like I should lift emote only. You guys are like stuck in emote only. I'll disable it for the men. For <laughs> Sorry. Thank you guys so much. I really, 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 really appreciate it. And that's like the biggest understatement of the century. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're free. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have lifted emote only! <laughs> you guys are just gonna make me cry more. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Better than getting Pokemon 3. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the stream so much. I know a lot of you guys are new, or at least I'm assuming you guys are all, a lot of you guys are new from my YouTube channel. Thank you. Man, this makes me feel really lame because like, I just started YouTube not long ago, but I feel like my editing is so pleb. So I'll make sure to work on my, um, my editing so that you guys can enjoy the videos more. <laughs> you did it in one try. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> I'll make sure to keep on working on my content to make it better. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Bio, thank you so much for the sub. Ethno for the sub. Sir for the sub. Midnight for the sub. Fumble for the hundred bits. And Burnt for the tier one sub. Oh no, Burnt for gifting another sub. Thank you. <laughs> Chat, you're too nice. Oh. This mean we're getting that cruise tall crying emote. Wait, what do you mean Namatame first try is insane? Wait, can you get a game over there? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, did. I didn't know that. Well. I did it! Yay! <laughs> Is that why you guys are gifting some... It's because of the god gamer moment. Wait, you have to get all six answers correct in a row? Like, there's only one correct option. What? That's insane! I did that? <laughs> Wait, so that's so cool! <laughs> I didn't know that! <laughs> oh, that made me feel better. Holy shit! I'm a god gamer. I've been playing. I've been playing video games since Pokemon Three, man. <laughs> it's moments like this that drew so many of us, including myself, to your content. Oh! The amazing crystal. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we ate tears of sadness, so instead oh. we gave tears of joy. Now stop crying for God's sake, Lil. Stop crying for- I'm trying to stop crying! I'm trying really hard! Watching you play this game in P5 is incredible. You have gained a new fan. The Thank you for the donation, I appreciate it. series has reminded me why Persona 4 is my favorite game of all Aww. time. Thank you. Aww. Screw it, here's the rest of the bits I have right now. <laughs> Pokemon 3 Pog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I miss some insanity and more streams, but it all seems to be going wonderfully. I'm always happy to be part of this community. I'm proud of you, Crystal. Aww. And Twitch chat. Stay lovely, Crystal. Love. Wait, no, not a roller coaster again. Wait, I'm laughing again. I don't want to cry again. <laughs> you also deserve all the good shit that's going down low. Don't do that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's insane, though, that you can get a game over that easy. What the fuck? There's 
is one correct answer six times. That is nuts! Easiest game over in history. I've seriously never seen anything like that. Remember that warning message during the save? Oh, it was probably for that scene, huh? That's crazy. That's actually fucking nuts. Wow. I want to know what the other responses get you. I want to know what the actual game over gets you now. Let's I love you, chat, too. I really do. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to watch like a YouTube video later or something for how those endings. I'm curious as to what happens. I don't. I don't. I'm... That was a moment that you could have gotten a bad ending, and you did it in one try. <laughs> so congrats to you. Damn. Thank you. That's why you guys were pogging so much. I was looking at chat and I was like, why are you guys pogging so much? I didn't understand. You dodge those pitfalls like a champ. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm trying to catch up. Uh, thank you for the thousand bits. Um, play a vault. Thank you so much for uh, subbing for 28 months. Oh, and story-wise, if you got the wrong response, Nanako may stay dead. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'll be spoiled if I watch the band ending? Oh. Well, yeah, then I won't watch it right now. <laughs> All right, I think we're caught up on alerts, are we? Pog! We're all caught up! All right, let's play the game again. <laughs> um, Bert, thank you for gifting a sub if I didn't catch that already. Um, Play, thank you so much for the thousand bits. Toma for the 40 bits. Burn for the hundred bits. Play for the hundred bits. Junus for the Twitch Prime. And Rob for the hundred bits. Woo! You're amazing, but we, we did it! Too. We got through Stay all awesome. of the alerts! <laughs> Oh, so I still don't know the true culprit then. Dude, it, like, I think I can figure it out at this point. Like, it has to be Adachi. It literally has to be Adachi. There's no other person it could be. I'm like, I am like full blown convinced that it is Adachi at this point. Like, all fingers are pointing toward that guy. Every single one of my fingers. Maybe I have 10 fingers the and they're all like, so the it has to be him. No other person in this game makes sense. J Dot, thank you for the f f f f 50. F God, I can't even talk anymore. Five. Thank you for the 500 bits. I appreciate it. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I figured it out. I still could be wrong. I still could be wrong, but I think let's 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 just keep going. Shen, do your worst. But yeah. Um, Metsy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Thank you. Seriously, um, like, I don't want to... Before I play video games again, <laughs> I really want to genuinely thank you from the very, very bottom of my heart. GG like, it's on BDW. <laughs> thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. But, like, with all of the love that I can possibly muster... <laughs> thank you, like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't want to cry again. Thank you for all of the support. Like, I genuinely am really just blown away. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> I feel like those are not, like, that is not enough words in the world. Because, <laughs> like, that was insane. And we unlocked two emote slots. And we're actually close to a third one, too. Like, that, yeah, that's, that, that's like actually nuts. And I, I can't even, this is the highest sub count I've ever had. And I just can't, like, th uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to go back to playing games. But thank you guys so much. One does not <sighs> simply a challenge a troll that. <sighs> thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. What is up with these fucking, oh, God, no, I'm not even going to finish that sentence. <sighs> You've done the hard part now, get the true ending. Let's get the true ending. Wait, I'm about to beat the game? No, there's no way. There's still game left over. So Nanako-chan's a fighter and she's trying desperately to stay alive. Okay, let's keep going. Let's seek the truth, yeah. Thank you for the 100 bits, sick. So, so this isn't a joke? Oh, 
I just came on here and Sachi is calling <laughs> where the fuck is happening. And thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate it. Oh god. Ooh. Hold on. I have to. Uh, it's so hard to catch up with all my alerts right now. Thank you for the three dollar uh, donation, Alexander. Okay. Actually telling the truth. Holy and wide. Thank you so much for the tier one subs as well. Thank you so much. <sighs> I'll take all of this love that you guys are giving me for some fucking reason, and I will make- keep improving my content. It's the least I could do. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'll keep trying to make it bigger and better. That's all I can do. Ah, oh, you're actually telling the truth. Yeah, Yosuke. Not a good John. <laughs> oh my <sighs> I can't handle crying anymore. <laughs> like, my tears are spent. <laughs> this is amazing! Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> <laughs> you challenged me by saying I'm through with my alerts. Stop crying, Oh god. You I'm gonna mute those alerts. <laughs> Muted! <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits times 5. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. I appreciate it. You all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. <sighs> it's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Wait. Wait a second, where's Teddy? Is Nanako only okay because Teddy made sort of a sa like, I wonder if he made some sort of a sacrifice. Oh god, I hope not. I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <gasps> You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. <sighs> Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try oh, calling him up once we're outside. Uh, I... Yeah, challenge. Uh, I thought... Okay, alerts are muted. Uh. <sighs> Nanako is fighting hard to survive. You must wait and believe that she will recover. Oh, there you are. Hi. You. I forgot to tell you. Don't pull that again, okay? I don't understand you. You can't just meet with the suspect like that. Anyway, I came to give you an update on Dojima-san. And you can't hide a suspect like that. I'm getting mad at this point. His wounds opened up a little, but he's treated now and he's fast asleep. I shouldn't get myself worked up. I still don't know if he's the murderer. I'm accusing him, but... It, ha it has to be him. It literally, like... He's so... They, mm, it, it has to be you. I'm not worried. <laughs> well, I bet he wouldn't want his nephew to be worrying about him anyway. Anyway, I heard Nanako-chan's on the road to recovery again. You guys were being so dramatic that I got really worried. But this is good news. She'll be well again in no time. If it's you, what's your motive? I don't understand you, dude. By the way, you're all alone at the house now, right? Yes. Well, enjoy your freedom while you can. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan will be back soon after all. That's why you're an automatic. Well, what? I better head back. I don't get you. You go home too, before it gets too late. I'll see ya. Are you even like a human? 
I'm convinced at this point that you're like some sort of god. Like, I don't, I don't. I couldn't save. I couldn't save. Why? Mayumi. And that girl, too. I couldn't save them. I'm so confused, man. Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. All right, I need, like, a level head. Don't just be accusing Adachi. I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. Oh! It's snow! Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. Back in Namatame's room. Was it really right to stop everyone from what they were about to do? Yeah. You have no way of knowing. You remember that your cell phone has been off this entire time since you were at the hospital. There seems to be no messages. You should go home before you catch a cold. My brain is trying to rationalize all of the facts that we have because I don't want to just assume that Adachi is the killer. I don't... I don't understand. What? It doesn't... God, my brain. All of the evidence that I'm coming up with in my head makes the most sense to him. He's... There's so many suspicious things about it. Well... I made the point before that he... It has to be somebody that has police connections in the first place. Because they've been actively trying to cover up and they actively tried to get Naoto off the case. Halfway through the game. So it has to be somebody that actually has power in the police. And what's really suspicious is the way that he's dealing with Namatame. That's, I think, what gets me the most right now. He's hiding him. And he purposefully hid him in a room that has a large TV. Like, I'm wondering if he wanted him to That, that's strange. Like, did he purposefully throw him in that room to make him go into the TV himself? Like, he was going to jump out the window, dude. Like, why was he so scared? This... He's been hiding everything about Namatame to us. Then there's what happened in Namatame's hospital ward. The snow that's starting to fall, the fog that won't disappear, what lies ahead from here on. You feel very tired, you should hurry and get some rest for today. I do need some rest, my emotions. 
Igor! Welcome. It's been quite some time. Do not be alarmed. <laughs> you are fast asleep in the real world. Igor always says this same line every time we come into the velvet room, and every time he says, do not be alarmed, I just sit here like, I'm fucking alarmed, dude! I have summoned you within your dreams. This shit ain't normal! <laughs> now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? Bro, I solved this mystery. It's a dachi. Let's fucking kill him. Although I don't want to do that. If <laughs> I, I want to, I want to understand this guy. I can solve it. Splendid. The precise destination of this vehicle. Ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight. Margaret? Voices you've heard many times before Chris echo in your mind. Who makes me so happy. I just wanted you to know that you have helped me out a lot the last few months, so thank you so much and continue being incredible. What the fuck? <laughs> Shit, dude, thank you so much for the two month, um, resub and for the really kind words, dude. Oh, that's really touching to hear. I'm glad that the streams can help you so much. We are experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. <laughs> Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right. Together. And it seems you have comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction, through this dense fog. The car stopped moving? We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great change in your life. Though there isn't much time left, it can be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. <laughs> Bitch, all I do is reflect. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. <laughs> People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream, but all who pass through it are affected differently. <laughs> Some travel fast, some change their course, experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time. Just so. The state of this room reflects the scenery of your heart. Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. Someone's ringing my doorbell at home. Bane, thank you so much for the uh, tier one sub. I appreciate it. Seems that you've been sleeping until now. You hear the doorbell ringing. Someone seems to be at the door. Hi. Teddy's missing. <sighs> I just wanted a break in the story for like a second. I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. I'm worried. Yeah, me too. He was acting all weird lately. Rise and the others are checking inside the TV to see if he's gone back to the other this side. How I exist low. Thank you for the hundred bits reflection. We're meeting pretty soon, so will you come <laughs> with me to Juness? Elmer! <laughs> I know you love Teddy. I'll go save him just for you, okay? 
<laughs> Fucking chat, dude. It's no use, man. We can't find him. No luck for me either. I didn't sense anything over there. The fog's so dense, it might be affecting my readings. I wish I could do better. I'm sorry. Oh, Ted. Don't tell me he really went back to his world this time. We told him over and over that he could stay here. You recall the mysterious dream that you had last night. This may be a time for contemplation rather than action. That is what Igor said, but... Let's think about it. I guess that's all we can do right now. He plays dumb a lot, but he's attached to us deep down. He wouldn't disappear without saying anything, right? I'm worried for Teddy myself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. It won't be long before Namatame is transferred to another location. We must hurry, or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on this. You know, I've been thinking about the case since, but something just doesn't seem right. Let's quickly review the facts. Of all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yamano the announcer, and Saki-san. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. It was only when he took Nanako-chan that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. When I hear you put it like that, sounds like the dude's guilty. No! As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a mere copycat killer. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? Yes! That's what's bothering me. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. Finally, the brains... the brains are working in these kids! You lost me. She's trying to say that if Namatame is sane, then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet. Sane or insane? Sounds like a play I saw before. When he talks about saving people, what does that actually mean? I don't think there's yeah. any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them into the TV. Could he mean saving them through death? See, that's what I thought. But I don't think so anymore. I think that saving, like, he literally means saving. He did call himself a savior, and said that the other side is a wonderful world. So they'll be saved if they die? What a bunch of crap! The bastard should have gone and saved himself! I guess I never really had that theory before- well, I suspected it, but it's- I didn't really think it would be true. See, I thought that Namatame was, um... So after the first case and him being like mourning over his wife dying, I was like, oh, maybe he like found out about the TV and that's how she died. And then like he at that. No, that, I don't know if that would make sense. Like if he would uh, take the angle of uh, trying to save all the people since he knew the method. It's kind of like how we were, I, I guess. But I don't think that makes sense either. What do you think, Senpai? If you think about it normally, it's gotta be him. <laughs> but there ain't nothing normal about that world anyways. There's something I've been wondering about for a while. When we first encountered him, he said, You're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. Y yeah So, um, if he saves people by killing them, did he save us too? Wouldn't he actually have failed to save us? You raise a good point. If he thinks that salvation comes only through death, his words to us make no sense. And another thing, the Namatame who appeared on the Midnight Channel said he failed to save Nanako-chan. Well, maybe he really was trying to save the victims by putting them inside the TV. Come on, don't get all quiet like that. You guys know I just say the first dumb thing that pops into my head. The possibility that he truly intended to save us. But he's still the one who threw in Saki-senpai in that announcer, right? Sure, we haven't nailed down his motives, but that doesn't change the fact that he killed them. 
We don't know how. That's why I really want an interrogation with Namatame. And that's also why I think Adachi is protecting him so much from an interrogation. Yeah, that's that's what I suspected. Or what? You think someone else was involved? No. But that points straight at Namatame. Come on, man. Sorry, I'm not thinking right now. Her alibi? Wasn't it airtight right from the beginning? How could she kidnap people and throw them into TVs if she's out of the country? Okay, they're just making fun of me at this point. But yeah, uh, I mean... So you're saying Mitsuo did it? No. Dude, if Mitsuo was the original killer, why the hell did he do such a half-assed job of copying himself later? Come on, we all agreed that his confession was a fake. He didn't do all that stuff. You gotta think things through before you open your mouth, man. <laughs> I like that Yosuke's getting mad at me, and I just want to see how they respond to these. <laughs> Morning letter. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to that thing? If Namatami's the killer, he must have been the one who wrote it, right? Let's review them. The first warning letter said, don't rescue anymore. And the second one said, if you don't stop this time, someone close will be put in and killed. Yes, that's right. Isn't that kind of odd? Would someone who thinks he's saving people by killing them write stuff like don't rescue or kill? Yeah, and the will be put in and killed part doesn't make sense either. So now I'm trying to look at that in the perspective of if Adachi wrote those letters, how and why? If the killer was writing it, wouldn't it be more like, I'll put it in and kill? Hey, could this mean? Yeah, it's almost like someone else wrote this letter. But only the killer would write such a letter and deliver it to Dojima-san's house, right? Mm. If someone else wrote it, that could only mean... Dear God, since this is such an unusual case, I was absolutely convinced that other than the Kubo incident, there was one culprit. So Namatame really was trying to save his victims? Everything is exactly the opposite of what it first seemed. In Namatame's parlance, failing would have been the first two cases when the victims died. If he had used his method twice and failed both times, he would hardly have continued using the TV. And yet he did. It all seems to suggest that someone else wrote this warning letter while observing the entire case. And there's only very few people that can observe the case whenever they literally have been in with us in most scenes, that person being Adachi, like, no other person makes sense at this point. Yo, Dogrin, thank you so much for gifting five subs. I appreciate it. Holy shit, this... <laughs> you guys are nuts. Thank you for the support. Someone else? Still going. Then... It wasn't Namatame that killed Saki-senpai and the announcer? We can't say for certain yet. We urgently need to speak with Namatame face to face. Finally! Wait, what? We went from being an investigation team to Seekers of the Truth. What the fuck? How though? After what happened yesterday, they said they're gonna tighten security. Chat, why? Thank you so much for gifting another five subs. Great, I really appreciate that. You guys are, oh my God, thank you so much. I have a plan, but there's no time to waste. Let's hurry to the hospital. Hey, this place is off limits. I'm a consultant with the police. I'd like a few words with Namatame-san. May I go in? This is Unit 252, requesting confirmation on an ID. Name of Naoto Shirogane. Huh? Ah, understood. I see. Well, 
You're on the list. Fuck yeah, we in! I can give you a few minutes, but I'll have to record your conversation with him for security purposes. Not that I expect you'll get anything coherent out of the guy. He's been spouting nothing but gibberish. I'd like him to accompany me as well. He has no identification, but this is an emergency situation. And he's here in Detective Dojima's stead. Huh? Detective Dojima sent him? I wasn't informed of this. I'll vouch for his identity. Well, I guess it's better than dealing with the man himself. No. We have our hands full with the transport procedures, so the last thing we need is Detective Dojima running wild. Detective Adachi is busy somewhere, too. Busy where? This is Unit 252. Has something happened? There's something about a suspicious object out in the lobby. Ah, well then, this works out nicely. You should back up your colleagues downstairs. We'll keep watch over Namatame-san. A disturbance in a hospital lobby, after all. It sounds serious. <laughs> Not, though. If anything oh. happens, hit the nurse call button. I'll leave the rest to you. Understood. Please be careful. <laughs> Damn, girl. I knew they were undermanned, but I didn't expect it to go this smoothly. <laughs> That's because you're just so smooth with your words. Whoa. Wow. There's nothing much inside that suspicious object. Oh, they set it up. <laughs> so he won't be gone long. All right. And now's our chance to talk to Namatame. <laughs> Me, dum dum. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Yes, you. Namatame san, there's something we'd like to ask you. It's tempting to think that you were the culprit behind this entire case. And to be honest, there are many in this town who hope you are. But we are here to learn the truth. So please, answer our questions. Huh? Seems that he's, uh, he understands what you're saying. What should you ask him? I'm trying to anticipate the response I get to know what the better question to ask is. Who'd you throw in first? Huh? Me? Mm. Oh, I guess, okay. He's gonna say no. Yeah, no, he didn't. They were killed. I couldn't save them. No. If nobody saves them, they'll be killed. That's why I put them in there. Then tell me if my estimation is correct so far. After discovering the Yamano and Konishi incidents, you realized an appearance on the Midnight Channel meant certain death. Thus, to save her from that fate, you kidnapped Yukiko Amagi. You couldn't let her be killed, so you threw her into the TV, preventing the killer in this world from reaching her. And you repeated the process, as more individuals appeared on the Midnight Channel. It all falls into place. His body is weak, but his mind is sound. He's trying to tell us the truth. Yeah, but if the stuff he's saying is true... Holy shit! Oh! Don't game on an empty stomach. Aww. Dude, thank you! That actually sounds amazing! Thank you for sending me a chicken Caesar salad! I'm gonna enjoy it. There's another killer who murdered the first two victims? 
Indulge us in a few more questions. I want to know... Wait, are they going to ask the questions that I want to ask? I wonder if they're just going to let me ask all of these again. But I want to know... I want to know if he should know the who question. No, actually, he wouldn't know the who. Why? I didn't know. I never thought it would be that kind of place. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, we'll just ask all the questions. I have no idea. I want to know that too. You don't? Dang, okay. What are you talking about? That's a stupid question, you thought. Narakami. You... Believe me? Did they find him? Did they find the one who did such cruel things? Mayumi. Please calm down. Our ability to find the culprit rests on you. We know about the other world. In fact, we're the only ones who can fully understand what you have to say. Only... you? We did blame you for everything at first. But now I think we can accept whatever you got to tell us... as truth. Please... tell us everything you can, calmly and slowly. You're willing to listen? Do my story? Yes, siree! <sighs> All right. Oh, what, 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 what? Soon after my affair with Mayumi became common knowledge, I returned to my parents' home, as if to run away from the scandal, and I started drinking heavily to drown my anxieties. I hadn't been able to reach Mayumi at all, and that didn't help either. Mayumi... Where are you? She'd been disgraced on all the afternoon shows, and forced to resign from the program she was on. I caused her so much trouble. I lost the will and energy to do anything. Then, one day, the rumor I heard some time ago came back to me. Since I had nothing better to do, I sat down blankly in front of the TV and watched my own reflection. And all of a sudden, there was Mayumi. Mayumi? Is that you? The Mayumi inside the TV looked as if she was calling to me for help. Mayumi? Mayumi! When I reached out unthinkingly to touch her, my arm disappeared into the TV, as if I had dipped it into a pool of water. I was so shocked that I lost my balance and nearly fell face first into the TV. I was so scared. I couldn't understand what just happened. I thought maybe I'd gone insane in the end. I decided to think of it as just a dream, and I went back to the city the next day after finishing work. The next afternoon when I got to work, I was fired on the spot, as I expected. That wasn't what broke me, though. It was Mayumi being found dead. And not just that, but it had happened in my hometown. I was dumbstruck, but later on, I remember the image of Mayumi I'd seen that night. Was it not a dream? Could it really have been an SOS from Mayumi? I hadn't touched another TV because the first time was so terrifying, but I decided to try it again, and I confirmed that none of it was a dream. So that image, was it something Mayumi showed me, calling for help? That's how I felt. And eventually, you learned of the Midnight Channel. 
I remember that when Mayumi was alive, she was chasing a rumor about some bizarre TV program. I'd heard about it before, but I thought it was just an urban legend. But then Mayumi appeared on it, and later turned up dead. The more I thought about it, the harder it became to believe that the two events were unrelated. Soon after that, I came back to Inaba to answer the police's questions. I'd lost my job, and I wanted to know the truth of Mayumi's death for myself. Then, on another rainy night, someone else appeared on the Midnight Channel. It was a girl. She looked like she was calling for help, just like Mayumi. The first thing that came into my mind was, maybe this girl will be the next to die. And that was Saki-senpai. I'd been following all the news about Mayumi, so I noticed right away that she was the girl who found Mayumi's body. And if my hunch was right, she'd be the next victim. I didn't want her to die the way Mayumi did, so I desperately kept watching. I was consumed with the idea of rescuing her. Then, little by little, her image on the screen came into sharper focus. It became sharper? <sighs> How did you find out it was her? After I came back, my father couldn't bear to see me in such low spirits, and gave me a job with the family business. I met that girl when I delivered a package to the liquor store. After agonizing over it, I decided to meet her, and told her to be careful. But that same night, on the TV... She looked as if she was being engulfed by some black shape. She was writhing in pain. That's why I warned her. Why won't she pick up the phone? Come on! Please! The next day... They found her dead. <sighs> I knew she was gonna be murdered, but I couldn't save her. I blamed myself, thinking there must have been something I could have done. There was no one who depended on me. Nobody at work, not even my wife. Mayumi was the only one who accepted me for who I was. But she was murdered, and the same person killed another girl. I was... I was beside myself. I couldn't forgive myself for doing nothing. You really did love Miss Yamano. Yes. From the bottom of my heart. Before I was married, my wife made it big in show business. I was happy for her, but it put a strain on our relationship. I think I can kind of relate. It was around that time when I met Mayumi. She was interviewing our candidate for the next election. She was a big-name announcer, but she only worked with local stations, and her attitude towards work was similar to mine. We both came from Inaba, so she was easy to talk to. She gave meaning to my life. Aww. Soon after Saki-san was found dead, yet another girl appeared on TV. That was you. She'll be kidnapped next, and murdered. I can't let her end up like Mayumi and that other girl. This time, I'm gonna do something. My opponent was a murderer who left no clues to his identity. I thought hard about what I could do to protect her from someone like that. I'll never convince her. If she gets suspicious and they arrest me, who'll save her then? The girl inside the TV looked as if she was smiling at me. Thank you, son, for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. And that's when it hit me. I apparently had the power to go through the TV screen to the other side. Then, what if I put her into the TV and give her shelter there before the killer gets her? What are you trying to tell me? That it's safe over there? Is that it? The girl inside the TV seemed to smile at me again. And I thought, no matter what kind of place it might be, it's better than being slaughtered. Once things calmed down, I could just 
Let her out again. If she's inside the TV, there's no way they can find her. It felt as if everything was starting to come together in my mind. Could it be that Mayumi gave me that power to prevent any more victims from meeting her fate? Was it my mission to save people? But there was a big problem. If I explained the situation to the victim, they wouldn't understand. I had already tried that and failed miserably. It seemed the only thing I could do was to take them away. If that was my mission, I'd just have to do it. Or so I thought. Mayumi, please lend me your strength. People who appeared on the Midnight Channel would be killed. You kidnapped us in order to save us. Mission? Give me a break! You never stopped and wondered about any of this? I thought I was the only one who could help them. I did call the police, but they didn't believe me. I knew the area well, thanks to my job. I had a large truck, and I could move around without suspicion. I thought my job as a delivery man would be the perfect cover for my mission. I thought no one else could do it. But are you telling me that I wasn't saving them? If a person is still within the TV world when the fog appears here, they will die. Beginning with Yukiko-san, the people you thought you had been saving were, in fact, in mortal peril. It was my friends here who really saved us all. I had a feeling that was it. When I went after that little girl and entered the TV myself, for the first time, I had some doubts about myself. You refer to Nanako-chan, correct? The police were after me, so I had to get away. But I still felt I needed to do everything I could to save that poor little girl. That's why I went in after her. But the TV world was completely different than I imagined. Such an abominable, grotesque place. I knew that the three of you who I saved went back to your normal lives, so I didn't realize how terrible that world was. I never knew. You couldn't even get out of that place on your own. No. That's a cowardly way to put it. I'd probably already begun to realize that it was a dangerous place. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have gone to see you all. See us? Wait, are you talking about the concert we did at Juness? Yes. <laughs> I wanted to know why the ones I saved were all hanging out with each other, and how much you remembered. Awkward! But in the end, I couldn't bring myself to say anything and ran home. I must have felt too guilty. That's okay, he was the janitor then. <laughs> but all the doubts and anxieties I'd been unconsciously suppressing exploded out when I entered the television myself. I thought I was going insane. I probably did. And you know the rest. When I came to, I was lying in a hospital bed. You really were trying to save people. But I ended up doing just the opposite. <sighs> what a fool. I always wanted to enter the world of politics and become useful to society. Oui. But after losing my job and the woman I loved, all I had left was this power. I convinced myself that world was some sort of sanctuary, and I secretly believed myself to be a hero. <sighs> I never doubted what I saw on TV, and believed everything was as I wanted it to be. I didn't think for myself at all. That's why I couldn't protect them. I'm to blame for all of this. What's done is done. I suppose so. But the things I've done are too serious to be brushed aside like that. I have no intentions of running away from my crimes. I'm prepared to face the consequences. You're fine, dude. Kidnapping is already a serious crime. And on top of that, I put all those lives in danger. I'm sorry. The Midnight Channel and the Other World? You can hardly be blamed for failing to understand them properly. We must apologize to you as well. Had we let our emotions blind us to the truth, 
we would have piled all the responsibility on you. I guess from your point of view, people did stop dying once you started saving people. The more you did it, the more you really believed you were preventing their deaths. I'm such a joke. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little tired. What, what are you all crammed in here for? My apologies. We'll be leaving now. Wait. I beg you, please, find whoever's behind this. You children are the only ones who know about that world. It's all clear now. He never committed any murders. It was another party who threw the first two victims into the TV. Ah! So where is Adachi right now and why did he let us talk to Namatame? Now get out of here! I told you, he's almost ready to be transported. Sheesh. I better not see you rascals here again. Hmm. Monaco-chan looks like she's in pain. She's fighting for dear life. This was the last place we saw Teddy, right? He was so worried about her. How can he flake out like this when we have to find the real killer? The police consider the matter closed. We'll have to do all the investigation from here on out. Let's revisit Saki-san and Miss Yamano's incidents, and see if we can turn up fresh details. But it's been over six months. Wouldn't the trail be cold by now? I know, but we can't give up. We're the only ones who understand what's really going on, and you never know. People might remember some things now because they've had so much time to think about it. Let's split up and talk to people all over town tomorrow. We'll meet up in the evening to discuss our findings. I hope we can find out something about Teddy, too. Oh boy! Tomorrow you'll be going out to talk to people in town. Will this finally help uncover the information that will lead you to the true culprit? You decide to go home early today and get some rest. Until next time! Ah, uh, okay. Guys, I am- I'm gonna lift emote only chat. I am fucking exhausted. I'm gonna... <laughs> I have shed enough tears today. <laughs> Woo! What a roller coaster of emotions today. Oh boy, that'll be fun to edit. Woo! Thank you guys for watching. I, I genuinely, like, really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed the stream. Uh, I don't know. It seems like we might be wrapping up soon, but might have, like, one or two more streams left, so... Maybe, like, Monday slash next Friday could be last stream. I don't know. I don't know how much is left, but... Uh, we'll continue on Monday. And again, for all the support that happened earlier, thank you. I, I really, 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 really appreciate it. Like, I... Like I said before, I will uh, take all of the kindness that you guys have shown me and just put it into putting better content that you guys can enjoy more, hopefully. <laughs> um, it's the least I can do. You guys are incredible. Um, thank you, I need to stop saying thank you. I'm just so baffled by what happened today. We're almost at a fucking third emote slot. I'll work on the emotes and uploading two more this weekend and uh, I'll get a third one ready if we unlock a third one since it's really close. Uh, oh my God. Cyrus, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. I'm going to be editing all weekend and catching up on, uh, actually, I'm making my special 10k sub video for YouTube also. Uh, because <laughs> I can now. So I'm gonna be, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be editing and getting that video done, hopefully, this weekend. So I will see you guys on Monday. I hope that you guys 
have a fantastic weekend. Captain, thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it. I do hope that you guys have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to send you guys over to somebody else. So if you would like to stick around and throw some pianos at another streamer, let me find out who's streaming right now. But God, this is this has been an insane journey. I, I really it's so much fun. It's so much more fun to play this game. Um, I don't know, with an audience, it actually makes me feel like I get more emotion out of playing games. I, I don't know how it works. I, I, I genuinely don't know how this psychology works, but I, I feel like I'm living while playing these video games. I'm so much like more into my moments and into all of the plot line. Like, I, it, oh God, I've never had so much fun playing games before. I can say that much. And you guys are a large, large, large part of it. I'm having so much fun thanks to you guys. So as much as you guys thank me for putting out good content or whatever and that I have you to thank for, <laughs> I really do. Um. Oh my god, who the fuck is streaming, man? Everybody's playing Ghost of Tsushima! Do I need to play this game? <laughs> Maybe I do. Aww. I can't wait to keep playing more games, seriously. I'm like genuinely really looking forward to playing more and more games. Because I get into every game that I play, so I hope you guys can enjoy all the games that I play outside of Persona. Because, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing a lot of games in the future. Uh, Damn. Everyone, literally everybody is playing Ghost of Tsushima, so I just have to pick somebody that's playing it and or just host, um... Oh, you know what? Um, I'm gonna host my friend Rook. She's in my stream team and she's playing Halo right now, actually? That's a series I've considered playing. So she's playing, uh, Halo. I will send you guys over to Rook. You guys can send her some love. She's amazing. She's in a, she has a fantastic community too. She's a lovely broadcaster. So I'll say I'll see you guys on Monday, like I said, for some more Persona 4 Gold. And yeah, have a fantastic weekend. Go love my friend Rook. Alright, bye friends.